Mic test, mic test. Hello everyone and welcome back to another Buddy Bison stream. I hope we're all having a wonderful day today because I most certainly am. It is Friday, everybody. That means that we do not have to work tomorrow. Or at least I don't. I'm not sure about other people because you know what? I can't assume that everyone's uh, working schedules are identical to mine. But regardless, I'm happy because it means that I get to play this game, Legend of Heroes Trails to Azure, uh, today, because that is what we are doing. We are moving further in to the finale, uh, the path we chose. Uh, yeah, so we should be pretty good. I just want to check Detective Finale. Okay, we're doing statewide assessment. I picked up that book last time. Um, I think that was the last thing I did on stream. I picked up the book and read it. So Sunshine Chapter 12. Okay, so 13 is going to be there. Okay, sounds good. Um, but yeah, so last time on stream, we uh, uh, got Risha in our party. We got Tio in our party. Uh, we got Randy in our party. So we got quite a few people um I'll, I'll set, basically. Uh, and I'm thinking that due to getting more, essentially, um, 
Master Quartz XP by having, hopefully, by having uh, the main characters actually in the party. It will make it slightly more efficient than having one of the slots be taken by uh, uh, by Zite. Even though he has stated that he apparently, like, once everyone's back together, he's not going to be a frontline fighter anymore. Which is kind of it's kind of sad, but whatever. Um, right now, I got a whole bunch of stuff, which is good. But regardless, let's uh, take a rest in the nap room and, yeah, get started. So what we are doing, I think, now is we are going to be exploring, I think, the West Crossbell Highway? West Crossbell Highway, Belgar Gate, which means no one might be close by. Yeah, shouldn't dwell on this post to get a forefront camp player for being worried about her sister. My Belgar Gate and Crossbell Police Academy are very accessible. This is exactly the idea of location, but we have to do it. Okay. Um, and I wanted to check the requests. So West Cross Highway is the last um, extermination. Um, so that's fine. And I don't think I was missing anything elsewhere unless there's a hidden quest somewhere, but I don't know. If I hand you Grace, you truly will stop at nothing to get a scoop. I'd love to talk your ear off right now, uh, but the last thing I need is app is tossing me out of the air hatch. But if you keep wheedling me, I just might sprinkle a few kernels of truth in between all the lies. Or maybe vice versa. Ah, uh, come on, why is he not need to hold back on me? Forget the kernels and just give me the whole cob. Abbas really has to work out for him, huh? You sure you're not going to rap and arc about Yen? I want to believe you, but you aren't making it easy for me. I can just imagine the headlines. Expose, assassin among Crossbow's favorite troop. The truth behind Yen and Rishi Amao's bus size. Juicy tidbits like these only come once in a lifetime, so come on, get those lips flapping. Please help me, Lloyd. Hang in there, Rishi. I know you got the fancy footwork to dodge these questions. <laughs> Lloyd's gonna be like, nope, nope, not gonna even try. This is coming together, but surely once made Vanguard's great. Yeah, okay, so. Yep, yep, yep. But he'll still be there to support me, and that's the big deal. Okay. So, don't need to go to the ancient battlefield, I don't think. There's our Morka village. Uh, I still have not completed this uh, chest. So, I might try and do that, because that's the ice people, ice thing one. Um, so, I might try that. Uh, I might put, like, a don't get frozen um, uh, item on someone and attempt it, but I'm not sure yet. We'll end up at Belgarde if we head due west. I'm still not sure if I want to face Sonya right now, though. Understandable. Let's just try to investigate as far as we can manage. I'll have to hide if one of the defense forces of armor cars comes through. Indeed. Commander Bales. Could be to our advantage if we found a way to make contact with her. Um, okay, so luckily, oh wait, there we go, R1 gets me to this menu, and I believe I still have people, uh, because you have that, you have that, yeah, you have, uh, detection on, which is good. Uh, okay, so we'll take that. Huh? Oh, but I don't have hey. enemy... Yes. Thing on. Okay. Great, but whatever. Okay, a Krugrass Golem Monster made from Earth Collection of Earth. The simplistic attacks will allow. Nope. Okay. So, Ormen, uh, Quartz Detection, Heaven's Eye, Eagle Eye, and Information. Go. Easy enough. Well, actually, I can just. Um, actually, you know what? Yeah, I'll put that on him just in case. But I definitely want to be able to see enemies and. 
enemies and the uh, what should we call it? Wind. God, I cannot think of the word right now. Chests and enemies. There we go. I don't know why that one was so difficult for my brain to 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 allow to leave my mouth, but uh, for whatever reason, it was. There go. Hmm. But I am glad that they're treating treating the uh, outside, like this entire area as a dungeon, so this would have been like the place to really try and uh, uh, just go like super hard with the uh, uh, just go super hard with the um Let's do this. Well, actually, he's not critting, so. Should be fine. Go super hard with the grinding for the burst count, like the 50 burst that you need to do. But. It doesn't. I did it earlier. So it's not a big deal. Okay, there we go. Osha! Okay, I don't know what you guys are weak to, but I presume you guys are basically immune to everything. Yes. Okay. Go in there. Um. You? Okay, so you can be stat downed and AT delayed, but nothing else, and you're weak to win. Actually, we've done some massive packs. Earth crushes everything with overwhelming power. Um, craft. Well, you can't be poisoned. Or KO. So, you know what? Let's just call in a art. Here, we'll just do Avalon Gate. Then I will... Hopefully, yeah. Yeah, I missed the crit. Okay. Ice hammer. They're all trying to attack him, but he's in. He's he's in. He's boxed in by other hands, so they all want to hit him, but can't. That's nice. Okay. Oh, jeez. Rishi got a lot of XP from that fight versus everyone else. Okay. Take the extra monster. Topaz gem. What is that? Poor men. Obviously, it is Earth, but... Defense. Okay, so it's basically the best defense. Um... But I don't really have anyone rocking that anymore. Uh, because it was fine to get, like, my defense up, right, when I didn't have anything else. But it decreases strength, so it's like, well, anyone that I would want potentially more defense on, I also kind of want killing things. And decreasing their ability to do so is not uh, a very smart idea, as it were. Now, chances are you're meant to use the those kinds of earth ports more with, um, like, the casters, right? Because that would probably be the most sensible option. Uh, because it would make it... It would, it would just make the most sense, right? Like, hey, use... Like, decrease your defense, or increase your defense, decrease your strength, but that's because you use ATS instead. And by boosting your uh, earth... Uh, Sepeth count, you are more likely than not going to have uh, uh, more. Oh, wait, no, I'm thinking of a wrong part of the map. Uh, because the part of the map that I was thinking of that I was was over on the right. Okay. Well, let's go see what happens when I get near uh, Cross Bell. Chances are it's still just a barrier, but. I want to check just to make sure. 
あ、そういえば脱線事故の it's no surprise that continental, uh, transcontinental railroad service has been halted for weeks now. I believe the defense force is still using their freight line from time to time, however. Figures. Hold on. If the railway is more or less dead right now, wouldn't we be able to walk along the tracks? Oh, I guess yeah. so. That's definitely an idea. Perhaps. But do not forget that Crossbow City is enveloped by that barrier. It will be impossible to breach the city without being detected. Well, I know. But what if we took the tracks west instead of east? Lloyd, Lloyd. do you mean? He wants to sneak into Belgard gave him the railway tracks? I know it's a little crazy, but yes. Might be our only chance to meet with Commander Bales. Mm. Mm. Yeah, okay. It's like, hey, we want to meet with someone high up who probably would be our ally. Uh, so it would be better to try and get to them not through the front gate. Cooperation would be invaluable. We could hardly ask for a more reliable ally. But come to think of it, she wasn't expressly against the transition to the defense force, was she? Contacting her at all is a gamble. That is undeniable. Girl, we could very well be walking to our own arrests. She wouldn't have any choice if we strolled through the front. But, if we managed to sneak into Belgrade Gate instead, we could possibly meet with her without anyone else knowing. In which case, she may be more willing to hear us out and speak freely about how she feels. I suppose it is possible. Moray and the Resistance are an indication. Sure there are others in the CDF who are still on the fence. Besides, this is Sony we're talking about. Yeah, if anyone knows how to tell her between right and wrong. Maybe so. As harebrained as this idea is, I'm not fully opposed. But keep in mind, if Commander Bells is stationed there, then who's bound to be with her? Hmm, that's true. It's gonna be accompanied. Damn. I didn't think of that. You mean Noel, don't you? From what you've described, she seems set in her convictions, yes? Yeah. This is the path we chose to walk. We have to accept that not everyone's going to step out of our way. As long as we're on opposite sides, there's no avoiding the fact we'll eventually have to go through her. Yeah, just, hey, we're gonna have to fight. Gotta accept it. And when the time comes, then I do just that. Even if it means fighting a friend. Lloyd. He's right. This isn't a problem, we can just push this on. You've really been mulling this over. Well, as long as you know what you're getting us all into. Shall we open the fence and make our way under the tracks then? Uh. Yeah, let's go. Finally, they're willing to just actually break a gate. Break the barrier. God. 
Like, so, so often in the Chaz games, it's like, hey, here's this very small inconvenience blocking our forward progress. Let us, let us circumnavigate the globe for the sake of finding a key when every person in the party should, one, be able to just jump the gate, two, should just be able to break the lock on any gate that might be present. Like, my god. It happens more frequently than I would like to see. So we bug our gate, dangerous go closer. Okay. So that is that. That means the only other way to potentially explore would be south or over here. Yeah. Okay. So it leads to the police academy. Way through is completely shut though. I can detect minute orbital wave readings coming from the gate. I suspect they had sensors installed. CDF must have strengthened their security measures after I broke out of jail. Then we could be, then we would be better off not getting too close. Garcia helped you fly a coop, yeah? It's hard to believe. No, you were alone when I found you in Knox Forest, Lloyd. You're right. I was able to escape because he stayed behind to hold off the defense force. The killing bear did that for you? Oh man, it's just full of surprises. Guess he's been through a lot this year, too. Yeah, I'm concerned about what happened to him after we split up. Still, we have our own problems to think about. Let's get back to figuring out our next move. Okay, so we have now checked out everywhere and everything. So let us get over to the place where we need to be. Yeah. Hydrate. Uh, still trying to figure out the best way to have my uh, headset uh, align set up, whether I want the strap on the top to be a little bit more loose, uh, or if I want it to be at, at this tightness or tighter. I'm not sure. I have to figure it out. Yeah. Well, But yeah, wow, okay, so this is, like, this is reminiscent of Cold Steel 2, where you're also running along the train tracks. Interesting, so even, like, that cutscene, it was correct based on, like, the party order. Evil Guard. I've been working on the chess quotes all the live long... I've been working on the chess quotes all the live long day... I've been working on the chess quotes to pass the time away. <laughs> Love it. Okay, hey. excuse me. Just going yes, to sir. demolish <laughs> your bum. Okay, Fender Dovin. Okay. Okay. Warhound deployed by CDF. The armor it wears makes it resistant to arts. Oh no, resistant to arts, you say. Whatever shall we do? Here we go. Oh no, how, what, what, no, oh no. Okay, oh, wait, I did not mean to work, right? Crash ball. Damn it, supposed to miss when you're blind. Oh, oh wow, frozen. Love it. God, I just love the master course that just let you put rad like random sass ailments because it's like it's never a bad time to inflict an ailment on an enemy. So it's like a, it's like a of course I'm gonna use this kind of situation. It's like oh yeah no, it's always just better to inflict because even if it's one of the, like the worst ones like poison right where it does damage but it's not like I think as bad as burn or as useful as like freeze or certainly not petrify it's still better to have it on and taking the health off um i've been trained for so long to be a dresser but i was railroaded into being yet another treasure chest oh hey ah. 
Oh wow. Got death blow and petrify in the same in the same role. <laughs> he got petrified and died from the fright. Probably should be at least running along like the side of the track. Yeah, not like down the middle. Hyperspikes, chest.exe, system error, treasure.dll is missing. I wonder who could have taken it. Um, ooh, evasion 10. So, that's actually worse in all ways. So, you could get more agility, but your defense would actually go down slightly. But, does give more ADF. Yeah, I'm only losing 10 defense. And you're gaining 10 evasion, so I'd say it's worth it. Yes. God damn it. You stupid dog. You can look bad. Okay, no parts for this dog. Uh -huh. Not something I was expecting. Go. Oh. Look at all of it. Oh. There we go. Luckily, these guys are not very tough. Okay, Mute seems to work pretty well on these guys. But they're dogs. So they're not using arts. They are just existing. Zero bomb, 46 out of 61. After an uncontrollable minute that left Cyril crouching on the ground with tears in his eyes, he let out an easy sigh and lifted his head to look up at her. I've never once heard you raise your voice before. Not once. Okay, so I think I probably missed a chest somewhere that. Clue me in on some stuff. I don't remember exactly what the, uh, what the plot of the chest was. That's one thing that I, I kind of want to like, go back and like, make sure I read it all. There we go. Okay. And let's save there. Because this is... So it's interesting that they're seemingly like maybe turning Belgar Gate into like a stealth mission. Because I did notice that there was like the railroad track area uh, under the gate before. And I, I thought that that was surprising and unexpected that it was even there. Uh, but I guess it makes sense now. Because it's like, hey, we're g that's where we're infiltrating from. They needed it to be present. Whereas I think in probably in the previous game, it wasn't there. Kamotsu. Freight platform. It's been a while since we were last year. Luckily for us, there doesn't seem to be anyone in the area. That's what happens when the Transcontinental Railroad is out for weeks on end. There's not much reason to be sparing any manpower down here. And this is our chance to sneak in. Commander Baz is around. He'll probably be in the command room upstairs. Getting there without being spotted is going to be easier said than done. I can create a diversion of the situation to Manza. In any case, we should move quickly. Right. Just don't do anything too rash. Let us head upstairs then. Okay. So you yeah, can't go there. Oop. Okay, so so that is its own cutscene transition, interestingly enough. We're going to have Popular Cocktails and Beginner's Guide. Pinky Rose, cool. Yeah, I haven't done any... Yeah, because Rishi is now part of the party, so she has stuff that she is good at making. And why does an alcoholic drink need dark mushroom? And also, like, monster egg. What the hell is this supposed to be? Yeah, okay, if we're just down this way, we should turn back. Okay, so, yeah, nothing up here. So we gotta go around this way. Oh, 
Stop right there. Yo, Noel. Oh, the, the one person. Noel? How did she know? The CDF is aware of more than you realize. That includes everything the SSS has been up to. Now that you've allied yourself with the resistance forces in Mainz, I figured coming here would be the next logical step for you to take. So I've kept an eye on the freight, freight line in anticipation. Yeah, damn. Well, that's just great. She has like a book. Can't say I'm surprised. Analyzing enemy tactics was always one of your strong suits, huh? Excuse me. I gotta do plans for Mother's Day with my mom because I didn't actually take her out on the Sunday. I taken her out this Sunday instead. This was the one time I was hoping to be off the mark. Did you come here to speak with Commander Bells? Yeah, we did. Second Lieutenant Murray led us to believe that they weren't the only ones in the CDF with second thoughts. He came to ask the commander for her opinion on what's happening and what the best way out of this crisis is. You should know, Noel. Fran is working with us, too. Now that she's made a full recovery, she wants nothing more than to see her big sister again. Listen, I get it. We're not going to tell you to abandon your duty. Can you just let things slide this as once? All we want to do is talk things over. I understand that. Yo, you pulling guns? But it doesn't matter. You're not getting any further, any, you're not getting any further than this. Not on my watch. I am a soldier of the Crossbill Defense Force. And that makes it my duty to prevent any insurgents from threatening state security. Noel. Well, come on. Are you really going to play this card? I'm asking you to withdraw. Please. If you turn around right now, I'll pretend this never happened. I know this won't keep us from coming to blows down the line. But please. At least for now. What happened to that rock salad resolve of yours? <laughs> right? Hey, it doesn't seem very solid resolve if you're willing to let us go for even an amount of time, right? You should you should be saying, hey, I'm taking you all in, regardless. Because hey man, that's what you should be saying. Oh yeah, I just realized that like now with the way I've like redone my setup, you can actually see my you can see my pop filter. My pop filter. Well, I could I could turn the camera a little bit more that way. Just a bit. Yeah, bring that out. Bring that out, but it doesn't really matter. You were truly committed to the CDF. There wouldn't be any room for negotiation. We will have surrounded and neutralized the moment we arrived. Without a second thought. And here you are, pleading for us to leave, using sentimentality to appeal to our emotions. 
本当に大義に準じているつもりなのか You say you're willing to give your life for the cause. When it comes down to it, you can't even commit. <laughs> Lloyd. <laughs> Ouch. Not exactly sugarcoating it, are you? I won't mince words here. The Noel Seeker I knew was never this weak. She would stick to what she believed in without hesitation, no matter what. As you are now, even a simple detective like me could take you on in a fight. <laughs> so I will. Lloyd? <laughs> Slow down, bud. What are you saying? It's simple. You and me. One on one. I'll even let you use any weapons at your disposal. If you win, then you can arrest all of us on the spot. But if I win, Noel, you're all mine. <laughs> Phrasing Lloyd. Huh? <laughs> what are you suggesting? <laughs> I can't stand seeing you like this. You're lying to yourself. You know deep down that this isn't where you belong. There's someone who cares about you. I'm going to make you come to terms with that. So let's go. Second Lieutenant Noel Seeker. <laughs> <laughs> I love of idiots. How did I get like that? How did I get to this? Irrational as ever, isn't he? Does this happen often? I would go so far as to call it a signature move. <laughs> one be one, bro. <laughs> and rightly so. Fine. I'm gonna make you eat those words. You're on, Detective Lloyd Bannings. Good. Let's settle this. Oh, you're gonna try and fight me, the Dodge Master? You want to fight me? You fool. Okay. Yeah, excuse me while I just battle scope you right real quick. Uh, renowned Defense Force Officer overwhelms her foes with heavy weaponry. Missed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're gonna S-crap me, are you? Man, it sure would be a shame if I blocked it with immunity. Man, look at that. Look at how, look at how perfect guarded I am. Oh, damn it. Damn. She, she knew to run away. I wish he didn't. Damn, what is with her? Is that like a, that like a guaranteed hit or something? There we go. Finally got a, finally got a, a counter. Good. Oh, no XP? Bullshit. No XP for me. <laughs> You're fine, Lloyd. I, I won. <laughs> Forgive me, Manderpales. There's no need to apologize. <laughs> I've been listening in. Huh? 
Commander. Giga. Ah, crap. <laughs> it would appear that we have been noticed. <laughs> you know, with guns and stuff being fired, you know, one would expect. You realize that your little scuffle was easily heard upstairs, don't you? I was left with little choice but to have the others clear out before they could interfere. S S sorry about that. It's been a long time, Commander Bells. Indeed it has. I have my suspicions about why you've come here today. Well, why don't we relocate to the command room and talk things over there? I actually would rather talk down here where we have a clear means of escape. <laughs> Shortly after Lure and the others were discreetly escorted to the commander's office. They cleared the air with Commander Bales and Noel while sharing what details they knew about the situation and the Septarian of Zero. This can't be happening. Thank you for informing us. It would seem the clandestine actions of the president and his collaborators are at last coming to light. Hold up. What does that mean? You're going to cooperate with us? That, unfortunately, is out of the question. Whether we don the uniform of the CGF or the Defense Force, it is the state who commands the gun, not the other way around. I fully understand that our president may have established the independent state of Crossbell on illegitimate grounds. But that notwithstanding, we cannot break the chain of command for the sake of bringing him to justice. I was afraid you'd say that. Yes, that's just how it goes when you become an actual military. I take it there's no room for compromise? That's correct. Even were I to say otherwise, consider the capabilities of our new Secretary of Defense, Arius McLean. If, hypothetically, the entire Bell Guard unit were to cooperate with you, the main force under his command could easily label us as a rogue unit and suppress us in the blink of an eye. That is undeniable. Tell me that lone wolf's got a knack for being a commander too? Yes, though working under Sergei likely did him no favors, he still earned his title as a Divine Blade of Wind for a reason. I would say his strategic senses are on par with his swordsmanship contemporary. The Brigadier General of Liberal's Royal Army, Cassius Bright. Yo, okay. So they're they're hard name dropping, so you as the player have an equivalent to be like, okay, this is how serious this guy is in terms of like his abilities. He's Cassius Bright level. That is like super S tier. <laughs> Wait a second. Even if Arius did oppose us, couldn't we petition w Deputy Commander Douglas for Tangram Gates cooperation? And this is a surprise, Seeker. What makes you assume that we would join forces with them? Yeah. <laughs> that one on one fight must have really done a number on her. Commander Bales. Say something were to lead the public to question the legitimacy of President Croix and the independent state of Crossbell. How would the Defense Force react? What? You don't mean. <laughs> Let me think. Naturally, it would depend on the extent of their reservations, but we would begin by taking a wait-and-see approach. Or at least, that's how I imagine it. <laughs> I see where this is going. Well, 
The only iffy part is figuring out how we convince the public that Croyce and his independent state are legally invalid. Ah. Good point. Figuring I guess what Ellie's expertise in these matters would tell her if she were here. After all, she more than any of us would know the key to our plan. Speaker McDowell. Oh. Oh, oh fine, Mademoiselle is granddad. Oh, you mentioned him. He did serve as one of the two lead representatives of Crossbell, didn't he? Nah. Yes. The second was none other than Mayor Croyce. Speaker McDowell's position on the issue has been suppressed ever since Crossbell's independence was declared. What would happen if he were given a platform to finally express his views to the entire state, the entire continent? The legitimacy of the president and founding of the independent state would likely come into question. And so would their authority over the defense force. Brilliantly deduced. You didn't even need me to give you a hint. Lloyd is a detective! Second Lieutenant Seeker. Speaker McDowell is being held in Michelin, correct? Ah, I was one. I, okay, that makes sense. I was wondering where the next chunk would be taking me. So I was like, we already went south, east, north, and west. And we can't get into Crossbell. That's the other place we can go. Um, Speaker McDowell is being held in Michelin, correct? Uh, oh, uh, yes, ma'am. He and Ellie are under confinement at the state guest house. If I remember correctly, the President and Secretary of Defense had the Red Constellation Station there. It was to confirm. There are no Defense Force units in Michelin at present. Yes, that's right. Commander Bales. Oh dear. I may have just accidentally leaked confidential information to outsiders. Please, pay it no mind. Forget everything you just heard. You're a real one, Sonia. What a fortunate slip of the tongue. One other thing, Second Lieutenant Seeker. Regarding your one-on-one -on -one bout earlier, I regret to inform that your commitment has, in fact, come into question. Yes, ma'am. I consider placing you on indefinite suspension. However, I have a more fitting punishment in mind. Instead, I'm having you reassigned to the Crossbow Police Department Special Support Section, effective immediately. <laughs> You're back in, Noel. Get over here. Well, there, find what it is you still lack within yourself. As well as what path you should be walking for the sake of Crossbow's future. And that is an order. Am I understood? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yo, we got Noelle back in our group! Shortly thereafter, Noelle gathered her belongings and boarded the Merkaber alongside Lloyd and the others. Aw oh, yeah, boy! Aw oh, yeah! That's what I'm talking about! Hugs. Fran, who was there to welcome them back, wordlessly took Noelle into her arms, sobbing all the while. As she tried to comfort her younger sister, Noelle's eyes too began to brim with tears. Aw. Hugs. Hugs, hugs, hugs. Those are always nice. Potential landing spot detected at Michelin. Sending you the coordinates now, Fran. <laughs> Nod, sniffle. Just how long do you plan on crying? People are going to make fun of you if you keep it up. <laughs> You're the one who won't leave her alone about it, Noel. I'm a little envious of you two, to be honest. <laughs> Sorry, everyone. Quick pack, I got it! It's near Michelin's Hotel Delphinia. Lakeside Beach, to be exact. Hey now, there's a blast of the past. Although this beach trip is going to be anything but a vacation this time. Now wait just a gosh darn minute. You all had a fun little play date at the beach? Well, uh, yeah, we did. It was after the trade conference. I can't believe what I'm hearing. Why didn't anyone invite me? I like having fun in the sun, too. Don't look at us. We're there on someone else's mirror ourselves. 
Thing about that entire trip may have had an ulterior motive behind this. Mm, to talk to, like, she spent all that money, did all of that, just so she could probably get uh, Mirabelle, uh, or Marybelle, could get a little bit of alone time with Kia to talk to her. Likely so. Yeah, and also that. Never mind that. What matters is that we have our next destination. We also know the Red Constellation will be guarding the area there. Can you tell us anything about their numbers, Noel? If I recall correctly, they should have one full company stationed. I'm not sure we can engage them with our current numbers. That's not great. You can split them up somehow? Like with a diversion? In that case, I'll go. Yeah. No. Allow me the responsibility. Luring them away will be simple if I return to my original form. Zayn? Are you sure about this? Well, I did pledge to you my aid. With all of the comrades you have assembled, my help is soon to be unnecessary. You can consider this my final gesture of assistance. We'll take it. Thank you, Saint. Yeah, appreciate the paw, pal. Not to bring the mood down, but even with his help, we still have our work cut out for us. Even still, this isn't just a rescue operation for speaking with Del. Ellie needs our help, too. We're ready for anything. We'll bring them back no matter what it takes. Right. Hell yeah! Brought you that. Zay has left the party, Noel has joined the party. Now I'll land the aircraft. Armed forces! Okay. Just all of the armed forces. Nice to have you back, Noe. I can feel the war is coming already. Jeez, again? In all seriousness, it's great to see you too. Thank you, yes, your injuries are already fully healed. In the meantime, we've been working extra hard to help everyone here. Good girlfriend. I'm proud of you. No, no, how long are you going to keep treating me like I'm a little kid? Oh, that's right. I almost forgot Lloyd. Uh, Lloyd won against you, so that means you're all his. Yeah, that makes sense. You still see me as a little kid because you've already found someone to guide you into womanhood. Fran, just what are you implying? And besides, Lloyd didn't even mean it that way, so stop fanning the flames, alright? Oh, look at you getting all embarrassed. You even sound a little disappointed. They lost me halfway through this conversation. Maybe I'd better let, just let them have their family time. <laughs> they lost me, I don't know what they're saying. When we ask Kelly, the SS will be full strength once more. I can only assume how tight security will be, though, seeing, seeing as speaking now is with her, too. So I was kind enough to volunteer as a decoy, so we have to make certain not to waste our opportunity. Okay. So let's come over here. Minasan, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's their constellation has a unit ready when waiting at Michelin. I wonder if Bloody Shirley is among them. Nah, definitely not our style to sit on our ass guarding a bunch of VIPs. I'll have a different commander station there. Probably someone else high up the ladder. I see. Hey, come on, Rishia. Let's focus on rescuing Mademoiselle and the speaker for now, okay? We'll have to deal with Shirley and my uncle sooner or later. No need to rush it. You're right. Sorry, Randy. Eh, don't mention it. That Shirley and my uncle are going to be a part of mission new security deal, so whoever they left in command is bound to be on par with Gareth, at least. Best be to make sure we're ready for him. No, Shirley. Can't help keep myself from wondering where she may be. But I won't let her be a distraction. Our focus is rescuing Alien Speaker McDowell. Okay, my equipment. Okay. Exchange. Plenty of it. My items. Uh, honestly, I'm gonna be real. They have. They have a lot of. Uh, the food items here. So I'm just gonna buy all of these. here because I don't know how many other places are gonna have like this spread of available foods ok 
Okay. And especially with how much Mira I'm rolling, or how much Sepeth I'm kind of rolling in right now, I'm not too worried about this. Hey, Fontana. God damn it. Hey, Gary, the barrier grind. <laughs> Oh, uh, yeah? Did you finally decide that you wanted to go back and and play? Try to run? How are you doing today, Fontana? Hope you're doing well. Okay, let's exchange. Um, third try. Third goddamn try. Oh, God. That's rough. But hey, man. You know what? You know what the, the grind is? It's a barrier. And you know what you're going to do? You're going to get over it. Because that, that's, that's what we do. Got two attempts in a row that were seven three times. Oh god, damn. There you go. Um, uh, that is the multiple. Ah, okay. okay. Exchange those for 64,800. Okay, now I can just buy. There we go, get that. Uh, okay. Now I have 99 of, I think, just about every food item that um, I can have. The only ones that I now do not have 99 of are going to be, like, the, um, they're going to be the monster ones, right? Like, Monster Egg 53 and other stuff. But hopefully, hopefully by me doing this, I'll at least be able to like try and like almost I don't want to say grind out but like get the good get the good and bad best things for what I currently have in my recipe book um we need to get to level 50 for the rest of the route since we don't have Joshua and Estelle to back us up or any good spells name of a tune oh, okay. um okay so let's come over to here because now you're intimidation and he's more likely to run away on the field party lead okay so that that'll be good for Russ at uh, speed runs probably okay what am I looking at you I forget what I had on I forget I forget what I had on uh, her in the first place um I, I don't I wasn't really using her so I guess it didn't really matter what I had on her um I mean might as well put uh critical attack trap and put faint X isn't bad but you know let's have her with force because that'll just be slightly better and then you can do poison and I honestly don't really care what you're rocking so let's just drop an action one on you because the thing is she's not really going to be seeing much much limelight um yeah there we go you can have brush emblem and uh i don't know long barrel Uh, you can buy them from Jingo and Zero. Is she around? Yeah, she's around in Osher, but I think the trades for the monster materials are more obnoxious in Osher. Because, like, I think it requires, like, a lot more of the stuff. If that makes sense. I mean, it's not, like, as... A, it's not as much of, a, like, a simple thing. Rescuing Speaker McDowell, laying him to deliver a speech aimed at everyone on the continent would be a bold move. If you pull it off, the CDF would have to back them for at least a little while. Yeah, but better than grinding for one. I mean, it depends on how easy the monsters are to take care of, right? Depending. And I I don't think I'll have to grind out for uh, monster drops. It's just a matter of, like, what I might need to do is be like, okay, I have 47 chitinous shells. How many attempts on this recipe am I willing to give for the top and worst dishes before I, like, reload a save or something like that Is is what I mean by it right because it's like okay i only have so many yeah just say easy exactly um okay traveling the merkaba so can't actually go down and try and get that one um i don't remember where this is 
I can't remember if this chest is in the Moon Temple or not. Um, I do want to check out Stargazer's Tower and the Moon Temple because I'm curious to know if they are available to even go into. Like, maybe there will be optional... Um, I'll leave the abandoned line. Mm. Yeah. Uh, what was that? Um, sorry. I didn't actually, wasn't looking. Um, okay, so armed forces, line, air. Ooh, interesting. Stargazer and Moonark dungeons again. Okay, okay, cool. So that's good. So let's go take care of them because they probably got a bunch of chests to them. Hi. Um. Ooh, see, mm, see, I'm thinking it's like okay. Wasn't really planning on having no on the party, but I could. <laughs> I could put her in the party in place of uh, in place of Noel or in place of Wazzy, but I mean you can't enter them yet. Oh, okay. I can't okay, so they're actual dungeons that I'm gonna be forced to go to. So I can't okay. 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 Yeah, right okay. okay. Makes sense. Oh, because chances are it's like we're gonna have to like disengage the bells in them. Probably. Or something like that. Okay, you don't like fire, you don't like water. Thank you. Okay. So then I won't even bother. We'll have to get rid of them goddamn bells. Those goddamn mother flipping bells. Ugh. How are you doing today, Fontana? I hope you're doing well. Hope your Friday is treating you good, so you have become a burst enthusiast. I mean, hey, it's pretty nice. Um, especially because I already have the record for it, right? So I don't need to, like, I don't need to grind for it, so I'll just take whenever I can. Um, but yeah, my my day was pretty good today because at lunch I was like, okay, you know what? I'm not, I'm, I don't really have much more work to do, so I'm going to go home, work from home for the rest of the day. And by work from home, I mean I'm going to have my wireless mouse on my desk. Uh, and I'm going to play Breath of the Wild and just dupe a whole bunch of diamonds so I don't have to worry about uh, rupee counts, <laughs> which is what I did. Uh, I also went and actually did a whole bunch of shrines and got some got got one full armor set. But yeah, it was mo it was mostly just duping a whole bunch of diamonds. Uh, so at the end of my shift, my boss asked me to drive up to Rochester to close that store. I said, sure, but they said they were going to try to get someone else. Almost immediately after I hit the toll, I got the call that they got some. Ah. Oh. Damn. Do you at least have like an easy pass? Or like it, it wasn't it wasn't like a total toll. Had to drive further up so I could turn. Yeah, that that is what sucks. Uh Okay, because wait, 50, no, but they gave me cash. Okay. Well, that's fine. Okay, so 100 arts of crafts, 100 aspects. I'm almost there. So, I'll have to probably have to go grind on some Gordy's or whatever. Um, but yeah, also uh, big news, I have officially put down the deposit for my uh, my trip to Japan that I'm going to be taking in August, which is pretty cool. Um, yeah, I'm excited, I'm excited for that. Uh, yeah, so that was the other big thing that I did when I got home. Uh, did I say August? I meant October, if I said August. Uh, yeah, I'll be, so basically I'll be taking uh, a week off in uh, October, I think the second week of October, whichever one has Columbus Day, and I will be, uh, I will be in Japan, in the Nihon. So that will be a time. I have no idea how mad that text makes me. <laughs> uh, once we land, uh, I cannot decipher its meaning. Oh god. <laughs> What text? Uh, once we land, we should expect that you immediately engage the constellation. It won't be possible to resupply once we're on the ground either. Are we fully prepared? Um. Uh, well, I can't go buy another evergreen, which is what I would. The text in the bottom right map of the bottom right map corner. Uh, ooh, wait. I meant to hit go back, but whatever. It's in like Latin, but it's so stylized. Okay, once uh, once I get there, I'll try and unengage, go back to the map. Uh, 
さて、私はテーマパークの方でせいぜい暴れてこよう。If you would excuse me, I have a diversion to cause in front of the theme park. Barry is so annoying because even with our Dodge tank set, we can get s c r e w e d 元の姿に戻ったら合図をするので。Ah, okay. るので隙をついて屋敷に向かうがいい。Once I'm transformed back into my original form, that will be your cue to head to the guest house. わかった。Understood. Saito, どうか気をつけて。Please be careful, Zaito. <laughs> And you as well. And also, we need to move people in and out because there are so many fights we can't hear. Ah. Eidos no kago. May Eidos watch over you. Boink. Boink. Oh god, those trees have like a really <laughs> defined blue outline. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There's a good divine wolf. Oosh. Alright, enough stalling. Let's make our way over to Miss Home Sent. Bangs and cohorts! Oh, wow. Already on top of us. <laughs> wow. <laughs> found us already? Enemies incoming. Three Jaegers and three military monsters. Remember, these are some of the best soldiers on the continent, and they're gonna be bitch ass. Mm, bitch ass bitches. Uh, Prepare to engage. Work together and subdue the enemy. Or just let me take it. <laughs> Affirmative. Right, yes. Got it, Roger. Roger, Roger. Okay, you guys are all your fun things. Hey, hey here, have, have a crash bomb. Have a crash bomb. Damn it. No one got crash bombed. Yes. Excuse me, I'm just gonna come over here and I'm gonna suck you all in. God damn. Damn, they just procced it twice. They're rolling that 10%. Damn. Man, isn't it nice when multiple text boxes don't crash the game? Yeah, it's pretty nice. That mobility must be used by the Red Constellation, aims for its vital v e r a c i t ほら。Okay. Oh, yeah, they're immune to literally everything. That was stupid of me. Okay. Okay, very near to the hunts down foes without mercy. Formidable sword. Ah, bitch. Stay, stay, stay hanging with Lloyd, alright? Uh, okay. Let's do Calamity Edge. Oh, you hit. You hit it. Um. Serious? Really? Had to death blow. <laughs> Bastard. Eh. Nope. Oh, come on, move. Yeah, let's get up. That's a whole bunch of EP and CP they don't have now. Oh, wow. At least he got back up. That's the big deal. Okay, Lloyd leveled. Um, okay, just looking at Master Quartz, XP, Aegis, and Pixie are the highest. Pixie, uh, <laughs> like, due, due to, due to him being a lower level and the way that they calculate Master Quartz XP, it's like, even though I've been using Lloyd so much more, Aegis 
even though it got so much more battles worth the Master Chord XP, got is lower because he doesn't get as much XP during fights because of the XP. Like, oh God, I I really don't like the way Master Chord XP is is calculated. I like I wish it was a bit more flat. <laughs> Those guys sure weren't messing around. Save some real muscle there. It's gonna get tougher. We need to hurry. There's the game just version. Right. To Michelin Center. There shouldn't be any civilian staff there, right? Correct. We don't have to worry about them getting caught in the crossfire. In our case, there's nothing holding us back. Cool. Uh, okay, just want to... Because, like, I'm rocking at 90 now. Don't really have anything else that I could improve the evasion on. So, everyone else. Yeah, no one's rocking, like, ooh, wait, why don't you have anything on? Um, oh, wait, that's why. Because I was gonna have Rishia in instead of. That was the entire idea of me giving her Heaven's Eye instead of... Okay. There we go. Better. Okay, nothing to be seen here. But let's go check over here just in case. I have a feeling that at some point in the future, someone's gonna get kissed right by this bench. He's gonna have a whole flock of women that he could choose to kiss. But only one... But only one will get kissed. Okay, what's going on here? You guys, a whole bunch of you guys. Uh... Salamander. Okay, so let's just do Genesis Flood, hit everyone. Already at 82. Okay, you're gonna. I'm just gonna just hit everyone again. No, I know it's a lot of EP, but it just takes them out. It's, it's more simple that way. More simple. That sounds like. Sounds diversion. Oh my god, it's Guru Guru Mom! It's the divine world for the report. Oh, God. Don't let that mongrel intimidate you. Box it in and bring it down. Yeah. Yeah. Zay, not even moving. Just. Hello. Hmm. You certainly have spirit. Very well. If you insist on coming after me, uh, then I will show you no mercy. <laughs> oh god, that would be absolutely terrifying. Uh, let's broken down in front of the theme park. Let's lead him to it. This is our chance to pass through the center. Yes, sir. Door's locked. Door's locked. Come on, give me some stuff. 
Samara. You punks? Oh yeah. You punks. Commander Randolph. Damn. That monster was just a diversion. Sure was. Coming through whether you like it or not. And I will thank you to not refer to Zyde as a monster. Jakey Little, get him! Fight no prisoners. Hajime Masho. Um, okay. Uh, item. Oh, no. Here. Here, have attack food. Uh, yeah, nothing. There we go, just gonna take that. Okay, let's just do a nice little Genesis Flood. Okay. There we go. Sucked up. Come on, guys, war cry some more. Yeah, war cry to war cry to death, please. Genesis Flood. Good. Auto CP up is just very useful. The best part about it is like, oh hey, cool. Like my my units don't even need to really worry about like, building ZB. It's like I oh, yeah, can just be from a while away doing all the long range attacks and just passively they'll be getting all their all their CP back, so they no need to worry. Um okay, so Randy If it's worth it, use Ice Bear can get the guest house. Zeit's hell and a fierce firefight could be here in the distance. I know it's tough to just leave him, but let's trust in Zeit. You need to seize this opportunity and make it to the guest house. Yeah, but I want to go see the cool fight. You don't have much time? Yeah, let's rest. We don't have much time, but let's rest. You know, let's take a little quick nap. Nappy poodle. Okay. Rawr. Uh, oh, okay, we got a big fan. Crap. More military monsters? That's a brush cougar. Stay sharp. Okay. So a special. Special. Uh, yeah, let's work. Yes. Yes. Large military monster deployed by the Red Constellation, a swift hunter despite its size. Okay, art. Um, okay, then let's just do Genesis Blood, make sure all things that uh, good happen do. Yes. Okay, let's just try and pull them back this way. Okay. Berserker. Took out one of them. That's good. Craft. Go. Yes. That one. Got that one, so we don't have to worry about ads, and you don't like earth or wind. Man, everyone just, everyone just rocks some earth. Like, there's no need to 
No need to use like a absurd amount of resources right now. Don't need to don't need to worry about the CP. Don't need to do much else. Just hang out with <laughs> hang hang out, do do the little arts. Just take care of it. Because the last thing I want is to go into big fight with low CP, low EP. I want to make sure it's all spick and span, as it were. Okay, two brush cougars. Great. Jaeger Zax. I never expected you to rush us down all this way. Zax. I mean, you here must mean you're the last line of defense, huh? That's right, Commander Randolph. The Red Constellation has its orders. Don't think we're just going to roll over and let you pass. Give them hell, boys! Defend this point to your last breath. Unless you want to face the Vice Leader and young Mrs. Ram. Yeah. Bring it on! I'll make you answer for what you did to Arkansas. Okay, Zax, machine gun, machine gun, cougar, cougar, okay. Okay. Analyze Zax. The deputy commander of the Red Constellation, he used to be Randy's right hand man. Craft. <laughs> Go that war cry. Okay. Stop that, please. Um. Gonna go. Gonna go big spending. Get everyone. Hit everyone. Um, uh, kill yourself. Spend. Go. Uh, okay. War cry. Recovery. Tear all. Way to take care of it. Okay. Alright. Okay. So he leveled. He leveled. Because okay, so their their master cards XP is 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 going at a healthy pace. Just wish Lloyd's was going faster. The person that I want the <coughs> mass, highest master cards <laughs> on is getting the last least amount of XP for it. Man, Randolph, <laughs> you have grown so much stronger since you left the core. <laughs> what can I say? The current gig really whipped me into shape. Can't put a price on that kind of experience. And they gave me a ton of it. <laughs> More experienced than us. People who live for the battlefield day in and day out. What kind of job do you even have? Whatever. Whatever. Just watch your backs. Inside there. You left out. Did he faint? Yeah. I called him. Damn it all. Who's they? When did they leave? Probably the Ouroboros. The trapped, I suspect. Could then imply another party at work here. Who's to say? Either way, we should be on guard as we enter. 
Let's shoot any wounds we have before going inside then. Okay. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back to here for the free full heal. Now luckily I did get levels on a bunch of the people. I say a bunch of the people, two of my uh, active party members. Uh, fortunately, I can't really build up uh, Randy's CP outside of combat, but unless I used food items, but I don't really feel like doing that, so I'll just have to rely on Warcry. No one's here? Actually, I can sense a presence. Same here, but I don't think we're dealing with a person or a monster. Archaism? Beep. Intruders detected. Air signature detected. 12 o'clock. So this is what they left for us, huh? Hey, yo, it's another one of the samurai bots. You fucks. Six targets confirmed. Three targets confirmed as members of the SSS. One target confirmed as second lieutenant seeker of the CDF. Two targets remain unknown, both of whom wield combat capabilities estimated at class A or higher. What? The machine can detect that? Deploying Izayoi units. Regenenkampf Mark II, Muramasa. Now engaging extermination mode. Here they come. Weapons up, everyone. Yeah, I, I literally think this is like the same kind of anime. Um, okay. Raging spin. Bring it up, yo. Best craft. Good. Parsling dance. Go. Oh damn it! Uh, I killed those things. He's gonna. He's gonna summon more of them. I guarantee it. An update model of Arcades and Ground Combat has enhanced boost functionality. Okay, weak to that. Uh, weak to water. Oh, Okay, so we can water. Can you not? Dude? I think I'm trying to... Good. Optic cloak. That's not right. Um, uh, yeah, not a big deal. Chrono Drive. Give him a call out. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah, and that's the annoying bar where you get regen. Okay, and up there, Archism that supports Maramasa, it repairs orbits. It repairs orbits have been markedly improved. Yeah. Yes! Six hundred thirty two. How much did it get, man? Um, what? You can be AT delayed. Can you be AT delayed? You can't. You, you literally nothing works on that thing. Um, okay. So we're just gonna have to S craft you 5.6 thousand. Can't summon Zeit. Okay, so I just need to focus. 
Coming in for that kill right at the end. Look at that. Look at all that XP. That's what I like to see. Okay. God damn. That boss, a lot like, I feel like I had a lot better experience with that boss in this game than I did in Cold Steel 2. Oh god. <laughs> this thing really meant business. Ouroboros and its mechanical pawns are certainly formidable. That's putting it lightly. It's even stronger than the hunger junk we found in Ravanche's old digs. It must be one of the ones that were modified by the professor of the societies. I wouldn't be surprised. Okay. Okay. Looks like we're all clear. The top priority is searching for Ellie and Big McDowell, then. Don't turn your back on the enemy, Lloyd. What? Destruction impulse. Why, you? Damn. Things out of control. Ah. No. Lloyd! I don't think so. Gun! Yo, wombo combo with bullets, huh? Those are strong banisters. We weren't even scratched. Thanks, Ellie. Perfect timing. Sup, girl? Ellie. Hey, Ellie. Ha ha. Guess you didn't need our help after all. 
Yeah, what's up? So, uh, this isn't exactly how I pictured things would go. But that doesn't matter. Thanks for having my back, Ellie. You saved me. <laughs> Hugs. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> oh, thank goodness. I was so worried. But you're okay. You really came for me. <laughs> yeah. I thought that I... That I might never see you again. Oh. <laughs> Eddie. Ellie. <laughs> uh, are we like third through eighth wheeling here? Well, this is awkward. So, um, should we give them some privacy or... I get the sense they forgot that we were even here. Seems you weren't the only one longing for Lloyd's tender embrace, hmm, Tio? <laughs> I have no recollection of what you are referring to. <laughs> you were the only one that wanted some Lloyd hugs. <laughs> Shut up, bitch. Huh? <laughs> I'm happy you're okay too, but their stairs are getting kind of hard to ignore. <laughs> Hold on a second. It's not what it looks like. It looks like you were embracing Lloyd, lovingly and longingly, because he's a fine hunk of a man. In our case, and put Lloyd's life at risk. I just got a bit carried away by that is all. Uh-huh. Whatever you say, Mademoiselle. But I... I'm telling you the truth here. Tio, Noel, you understand what I mean, don't you? Y yeah, sure. I will endeavor to try. Uh -huh. Help me out here, Risha. Wait, Risha? Why in the world is Risha with you? Or Noel, for that matter. And what exactly is Wazzy wearing? Flabbergasted? <laughs> what the fuck? A lot of shit has gone on. We have a lot to catch up on. How <laughs> so would it seem? Yo, what's up? Oh, they also put Hacker Boy in here. What's up, Yona? Hey, Wardell, are you alright? And Yona? What's up, guys? Long time no see, huh? Man, though, you're really bailing us out here, you know? <laughs> I fucked up the route. No! Bondano, you were the chosen one! Yona was brought here by Bell not long after we were. I assume she got tired of him continually trying to hack into Orcus Tower's central mainframe. That Bell of yours is a freaking witch lady! Dr. Bracer Scott by mistake. No! How cruel do you have to be to lock up THE Yona Sacred without an orbital net connection? What am I, a caveman? Yeah, it activates the Dino fight outside the Sun Temple. Oh, damn. No, no, no. That explains a lot. <laughs> that explains that. For a shut in like you, she may have as well been starving you to death. I'm in no way capable of fighting those damn dinos. Oh, God. Just try it. You can do it, I believe in you. Let's say we leave the details for later. Let's see if I have an auto save. After all, I presume you'd rather take this time to rescue us first. Yes, because we are still aren't done. Right. Vaunt, I believe in you. Right, we're here to break you out. Sounds alright with you. Can we get to making our escape now? My strongest spell at this moment is like, sparkle. Yeah, so you give them a little razzle dazzle, sparkle. Those dinos, they can't handle it. Sparkle, too strong. Of course. Time for neutrality has passed. We are long overdue for someone to speak out against this mess. That's right. Alright then. We just split before my uncle's goons come barging in. Don't upgrade my arts until after the odds are ready. Got it. It's fine. Let's secure our escape route and get back to the Merkaba. Post haste. The freak is a Merkaba? Afterwards, the Ezra escaped to the Merkaba with Zeit, who had been busy distracting the enemy amidst the chaos. With his aid, the group managed to escape Michelin before the Red Constellation's reinforcements arrived. And then... 
And then we all got on the ship together, and now we're really, really, really packed in here. Alright? You're certain you want to go through with this, Speaker McDowell? Well, it is doubtful that my words will resonate with all of the systems, right? Citizen Ray. But nevertheless, I firmly believe it will be impossible for us to move forward as a state if we don't take action now. Even if this decision does cost us our order and hegemony. Hegemon hegemony. 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 Short lived as it may be. It's true. The declaration of invalidity toward the independent state of Crossbell. The only one who could, pull, who could possibly pull that off is Crossbell's former mayor turned speaker. Yes, but how will the announcement be made to the public? Good question. There's no point if the message doesn't reach the citizens or the defense force. Yona has an idea regarding that. There's a signal booster at Tangram Hill. The set to test Crossbow's wireless rebel network connectivity with Lamon. Is that what that building is? That, that building over to the left right outside the city? <laughs> Are they finally giving it a use? Guess there and I should be able to hack it. I can keep the channel open for about 10 minutes. Just keep your speech under that and we're golden. I'm a little lost here, but... Does that mean we can take over those monitor cars that are parked all over the city? Yes. And I can get the message broadcast to the Defense Forces terminals as well. That will allow us to meet the conditions Commander Bales laid out for us. If the President's authority is challenged, the Defense Force should withdraw and adopt a wait-and-see approach. That would make moving about the state significantly less cumbersome for us. Lloyd? Listen well, Lloyd. That we declare Crossbill's independence invalid is merely a suggestion, not an ultimatum. As our faction's leader, you can set the idea aside if you are against it. No. There won't be any need for that. Once upon a time, Dieter told us about his conception of justice while he was still only the CEO of the IBC. Humankind are creatures that will, to our dying breath, chase after the ideal of justice. Justice is the foundation of society, something that people can believe in. Political corruption, the criminal underworld, even if the police cannot tame them. The economic prosperity we currently experience allows our citizenry to live their lives in relative comfort. But, an unseen evil still spreads across our land. In sensing it, people seek justice. From the very core to of their being, they silently cry out for it. Because no matter what shape or form justice takes, people will always pursue it, just as they pursue the security that comes with society itself. Just as I pursue text that isn't green on this particular background that makes it a little bit hard to read. <laughs> that is why I expect great things from you. You may be the lasting cure Crossbell needs. It's clear to me that you four are pursuing justice in your own way. And I think it's important that you demonstrate that to the people, so they can see it for themselves. Those were decent words. Kinda ironic thinking back on it. We will embody Dieter's words of justice when we beat the crap out of him and thwart his plans for justice. It was like a lifetime ago, despite it not even being a full year. Regardless, that's what the president said, line for line. 
I couldn't say whether he meant any of it or if he was just telling us what we needed to hear. Either way, I can't deny that had a profound, profound impact on us. I agree. It's an interesting way to spin it. I'll give him that. Yeah. And this time, I'm going to turn his own words against him. Yeah, you say your shit. We do it. We hurt you with your own words. We take them. We wrap them. Beat you over the head with them. For our sake and his. And most importantly, to give the citizens and the CDF the chance to think for themselves. Very well. I'll take his words under consideration and deliver an answer to them in my declaration. That would be great. We're really doing this then. Uh huh. Now that we have a game plan, all we gotta do is iron out the details. Yona, Fran, we're gonna need your help with tech support. Aye aye. Sure, I got you covered. The group then worked out the specifics of their plan to have his bigger McDowell formally declare the independent state of Crossbell invalid. For their part, Yona and Fran evaluated the prospects of hacking the Orbital Network to broadcast the address. All that remained was to decide when to strike. Staring at that bank. Yo, it's the OG SSS. Represent, boys. Yeah, just starting to hit me how far we've come in this short amount of time. You're right. It's easy to forget that this is still the same little crossbow we've all we've been working to defend all year. Indeed. No, what's happening right now affects more than just this state. Samuria, as we know, is it shifting. What we're experiencing now could very well be a turning point in history. Turning point in history! You're still struggling with the fact that you'll be opposing Maribel and President Cross, aren't you? Yeah, right, because it's her, it's her uncle, quote-unquote, uh, and her best friend, right? Like, like that's, that's gonna hurt. <laughs> Can't hide that, can I? Despite what they've done, it doesn't change that we've been like family for years. There's even a small part of me that can sympathize with their ambitions, from a political standpoint. I can't fault you for that. In their defense, they're not the only folks out there with a sword rap sheet. Let no chance there, for example. Yes, but even so, I want to make myself perfectly clear. No matter what happens, I'm a part of the special support section. Yeah, we stick together. We're a team. Nothing else. I know for a fact that will never change. You mean it? Really? Look at you being a team player, mademoiselle. What happened to all that talk about the CPD being a temporary gig? I'll admit that's how I saw it when we first started. But I was no match for you all. At this point, the SSS is where my heart will always be. No matter which path I take in the future, everything I do will be built on the foundation of what I've learned from the time we've spent together. Well put. I feel exactly the same way. <laughs> Guess we all got pretty lucky that the chief ever started up this crazy division. Oh, wait. Come to think of it, yes, this was all your brother's idea, wasn't it? <laughs> I guess it was. I don't think even he could have imagined what it was to come. We're going to solve this case and take Kia back. In a way, maybe that's what fate brought us to together to do. Our ultimate purpose. But we're past the point of grasping for straws and looking for reasons. We're going to save her. And we'll do it as a team. Every step of the way. For the sake of what matters most to us, we'll forge ahead, come what may. Right. We we'll also have to get in touch with the chief. The team isn't complete without his biting wit. <laughs> you can say that again. Ellie has joined the party. Ellie learned the S-Craft Divine Crusade. With Ellie's inclusion, the number of party members now exceeds the maximum of six. Please reselect the six characters. Uh, which six characters will comprise your party? 
You can switch out party members here. Any changes we'll make to take after disembarking the Merkaba. Lloyd, L-E-T-O, can... <laughs> you need to keep the base SSS. It's only the sub members that matter. Um... Um... Just, literally just for the sake of Master Quartz uh, XP, I'm going to take Rishia, because she's level 87, whereas Wazzy is 88. From now on, you'll be a re to your party and switch out active members by speaking with Abbas on the bridge to advance the story. Select like the booster site location on the far east side of Merkaba's navigation map. Uh, okay, so Orbman, let's come over here. If I remember right, I had, yeah, I had her with Pixie. Um, let's remove all of her other stuff. Um, don't remember what I had her for there, but let's just try and remember what I, in general, had on her. So, okay, so let's come over here, cast one, action one, speed breaker. Okay. So, let's give her a cast one. Then, I know she had ingenuity. Leaves all the other ones. So let's assume she had mind. She probably did. Um, heaven's eye or range? Let's assume she had heaven's eye. Thunder cycle, magna blaze, calamity shot. And then what if I gave her? HP 30. Did that give her... See, she had Holy Breath. So the thing is, I do not remember. So I think... Did I... Did I have someone else? cut. That's it. I, I know I had EB cut on her. Um, death Spiral. Yeah, so let's... Okay, I know I had EP cut on her. Um, mind 3. So that gives 5 of that. Hit. Oh. hair. Hmm. Baker. Okay. So, I need something that gives... HP 3? Yeah, you have HP 3. Water gem. Okay, you'll keep that, so then I can give you water gem. You'll get hydro cannon and TR all. Yeah, I mean, that's just better in general. That's fine. Water gem, TR all. She needs, I think, a little bit more than that. Ingenuity cast. Um, what does cast two give? Two of space. I mean, she should just get cast two anyway. Um, damn it. 
Uh, quartz. Because, I mean, like, of the time. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Buy a cast, too. Uh, ornament. Quartz. Cast, two. Give her cast two. She gets Calamity Caught, A Reflex. So she need more wind? When is she missing? Um. Okay, she. Okay, so I guess she just needs a lot more. Um, water. Oh, yeah, because I guess she only has seven, right? In, oh, in the, se okay, that's the issue, the seven. Okay, let's remove that, remove that, put the water in her thing, because I forgot that it's not all on the same line. There we go. That's what I want, I think. Yeah, because I'm not looking for her to really have a bunch of earth-based stuff. Okay, good. Quip. Saints garb. Evil on energy gear. Okay. So what am I looking at? Range two actors up. Oh wait. Range three actors up. Um, fatty eater bell, CP, long barrel, that, speed plus five, wouldn't be bad on her, because she's at 58 speed, so yeah, that's, uh, strength, speed plus five, uh, actually, you know what? Lighter plus, there we go. Speed plus 10. Help her out a little bit. There we go. Yeah, everyone needs speed. Everyone needs to go faster. Okay. Action today will call into question the legitimacy of crossbow's independence. And doing that means challenging the establishment of the Defense Force, too. Sure, Commander Bales can handle the aftermath, but there's no avoiding the unrest that's going to ensue. She can say ourselves lucky the two major powers are preoccupied with their own civil turmoil. Once we broadcast the Declaration of Invalidity, CDF should pull back to see how things play out. That constellation, though, and in indeed there's pockets, so they're not going to give a rat's ass one way or another. Huh. Might even give them an excuse to start playing hardball. And that's saying something compared to what they've already done. Point is, you gotta be on guard for anything. Yeah. When I first arrived in this state as Yen, I never imagined myself fighting to save it. Maybe it's too late for me to be having this realization, but I'm starting to feel like this role is one I don't deserve. However, the fates of Crossbell and Ark and Seal are one and the same. I'll protect them both with everything I have. Here we are. With that, your treatment should be complete. I am once again in your desk, Tia. Yeah. So, are you injured while we were in Michelin? Yes, by the Red Constellation fools, no less. The wound itself should heal quickly, but that w that I was hit at all came as a shock. You mustn't underestimate them. In any case, the ambush served its purpose as a diversion, but they are unlikely to fall for it a second time. Noted. Still, you're a big help out there. Thanks for everything, Sight. Huh. There's no need for gratitude, as you should know well. Now then, seeing as you have recovered your comrades, Lloyd, it would seem there's no lo need for me to accompany you any longer. I'll remain on reserve as I did before. Remember. You can always call me if you need assistance. By generating orbital waves from my staff, you mean? Understood. Furthermore, should I come to your aid in battle, know that I will be doing so in my original form from now on. Yo! The roaming monsters out there will be no more than helpless prey before me. I can bet. Be a welcome sight having you at our side in holy beast mode again. Thank you, Zite. As always, I look forward to working alongside you. Okay. Numbers have grown to the point where my direction I actually require. Based on my back lines, we were in original form. Fake spared, roaming monsters out there would be no more than helpless prey. Cool. Are you ready, Speaker McDowell? Yes, I'm prepared to declare that the independence of Crossbow invalid at a moment's notice. I will give you my word that Henry McDowell will not be pulling any punches. Rest assured that my statement will serve as an answer to the dealer's past assertions. Thank you again for doing this. 
There's no need to thank me, Lord. However, the declaration will be received by the court of public opinion as the true variable. I may no longer be the orator that Dieter is, but I shall do my utmost to convey the sincerity of our intentions. There's something I must do. It's imperative that every cross villain consider the future of our homeland. Well said. We're counting on you. Sitting down. Down, down, the big eater, the beer, murder, bro, murder, bro, bro. Banner, banner, man. Mina, so, what is it? Mata. So, so, I'm finished the quest. Took some time, but we're all set to get this declaration of invalidated thing going. Now that Speaker McDowell has a statement in order, all that's left is a game on the airwaves. Oh boy, I'm starting to get nervous. Maybe I should go do some vocal warm-ups on the deck. We're about to hack the orbital net and formally declare the Independence Day crossbow invalid. In the end, everything will come down to timing. It's not like me to be this nervous. Well, I can understand why you would be. What we're playing will end the temporary peace that crossbow has right now. That's a fact we can't contend with. It makes me wonder if what we're doing is really the right thing. Uncle and the others provide crossbow with protection against Erebonian and Calvert. So many innocent people benefit from that. And here we are, trying to wrest it away from them. I know. The so-called peace is only possible because President Kreuz and the others are exploiting Kia for it. The people have no clue what's happening. The cost of their newfound freedom. There's no way we can let this continue. You're right. I could never accept a peace that was obtained by sacrificing Kia's happiness and well-being. Thank you, Lloyd. Chatting with you was just why I needed to let go of my doubts. <laughs> Anytime, Ellie. This operation is our first step toward taking Kia back. We need to pull it off no matter what. Right. Let's give it our all. Here, yeah, Boris. We got this. Okay. Let's let everyone take a nice little rest to poodle. There isn't much security around the booster side, fortunately for us. It's completely outside the CDF and Yanger's patrol routes. If we head straight there in the Merkaba, we should be able to finish with no interruptions. As for how this declaration of invalidity will change things and shape the future, <laughs> the goddess only knows. Oh yeah, you have Palm Party account, right? I'm feeling generous in here. I'll pass along my deets. I've been playing this game since it was in beta, so if you think you got what it takes, I'd love to prove you wrong. You own his Palm Party account. Crack, 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 crack. Testing one, two, three. What are you up to, friend? Oh, hey, Lloyd. I was just making sure the camera and microphone are working. We're going to be sending audio and video from here in the market, but screens all over the place via the orbital net. Hello, my name's S Fran Seeker, and I love my big sister Noe more than anyone in the whole wide world. Yep, it's picking up everything hunky-dory. Even in times like these, you can always count on Fran to help ease the tension. You gonna be sending audio? You double check? Okay. Hey, is it time to start the operation yet? Just say so we're not get to hack. Somehow I feel like you're a little too fired up for this. <laughs> I've gotta get back at those creeps for locking me up so long without an that connection. Just you wait and see. I'm gonna send that old geezer's voice to every last terminal and crossbow. Please don't call him a geezer. Even during times like these, you need to address him as Speaker McDowell. It's only polite, Yona. Okay, jeez, got my back already. No wonder you became a cop. Okay, now quit being such a killjoy and let's get this show on the road. <laughs> no wonder you became a cop. <laughs> You're no fun. Okay, pom pom party. Start. Let's get Yona in this bitch. Okay. Just a, just a wee bit congested right down there. Ooh, that's not great. Okay. Let me just open that up. 
Yeah, it hurt a lot. Was not was not telling a fib or a lie when I said that was going to hurt. I was very much aware. I could have defended myself at least one more row. I want to beat him. I don't, like, I don't know if I've collected everyone's available Palm Party accounts, and I don't know if there's a record associated with beating everyone, but I mean, it's just a matter of pride. Like, I'd like to say, hey, look at me, I, be I beat all the Palm Party people. Because I'm good at video games. Except I know I'm not, like, quote-unquote good at video games as, like, a general thing, right? Because, like, being good at video games, like, what does that even mean? There's so many kinds of video games, right, man? Like, what does it even mean, bruh? I'd be like, it means being good at all kinds of video games. In general, having good game sense. And they'd be like, what's game sense? And I'd be like, it's the ability to just kind of comprehend how games work. And jive with them. It's like being Cassius Bright. <laughs> um, uh, oh, shit. oh god, I am I am not having a good time right now. Excuse me while I just Come on, keep it up. Damn it. Uh, come on. Just give it to me, you bitch. That's all I want. Why are you why are you harder than Tio was for me? Tio is supposed to be the most difficult person to play in this game because she passively cheats. So why are you so difficult? What, are you a tryhard? Are you are you meant to like represent like oh this is like my like this is the power of someone who actually like doesn't have talent and works really hard and is supposed to be like I don't know like uplifting in a way that's like you're able to overcome natural talent to you know stick it to the man. What, is that is that what you're meant to is that what you're trying to do, Yona? You're trying to be comeback story? Right? You're trying to be trying to be cool like that? You're not cool, Yona. You're a nerd, alright? And I know something about being a nerd. Even cool nerds, they're still nerds, man. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter what you try and be, bro. Ah, damn it. Yeesh. Christmas Kringle. Go. Die. Die. 
There we go. Just that. Just <laughs> for real. I don't know. Uh, no, I don't know. Gonna be I'm just a losing nerd. <laughs> I mean, I just did it right there. Boom. I just need to get oh, get almost dead and then just get really lucky. Go go down and be able to 500 and then 300 S craft them. It's fine. It's fine. No problems. No problems, bro. No problems, bro. Um, okay, so I can't go to Meshalem. That's the booster set. Oh, wait, the booster site's over here. I saw, oh, see, I thought the booster site was like this East Crossbow Highway area. Um, oh, can I? I literally can't go anywhere else. Gosh, darn it. Why aren't you letting me go anywhere, you fuck? Yeah, but you complained about it. it sounds like someone who's, I mean, I lost. I'm not going to deny this. I'm not going to deny it, Fontaino. It was, but then I overcame it. I overcame the barrier that was Yona. Because that's what I do. I embody a void. I overcome them barriers. You can use the experimental signal booster to hack into the orbital net and broadcast the Declaration of Invalidity. Once we do this, there's no going back. Are we ready? I mean, I would love to go around and check. But yeah, it seems like I have to be ready because I can't go anywhere else. You dumb bitch. Um, yeah, I really wish I could like access the Melder shops because I would like I would buy another Evergreen to get Lloyd up to 95 evasion or Yums to potentially get evasion by boosting my weapon. But I mean, like, man, I guess I have to take. I guess I have to take the 90. Head to the booster set. Let's do it. Let's get into some plot. Let's do plot things. We all love plot things. Tangram Hill, wireless booster set. Who do who, who doesn't like plot? We all love plot. That is why we play trails for plot. I say as I look at Kuranu Kiseki's model of Rishia. Plot. Camera's check. Sound systems double check. We're now approaching the airspace directly above the signal booster. You may begin whenever you see fit. Okay, here we go. You ready, Speaker McDowell? Yes. Let's begin. Here goes nothing. Establishing the link from booster to orbital net. Let the hacking begin. Mystic core. Mmm, boost. Boost that orbital. Fire that orbital di digital laser. Do it. See, I still think some of my favorite, like, visualizations of hacking are from, like, Sly Cooper. Where it's just like you're rolling around playing a twin stick shooter. Like, I think th th I think those are some of my favorite ones. You know, your hands are clipping through the goddamn keyboard. Yes, I've got control of the communication system. Switching to main camera. Go for it. <laughs> Good morning, Crossbell. This, this is reporter Grace Lynn of the Crossbell News Service coming to you live. As a disclaimer, the following transmission is not endorsed by the CNS. I am here in an independent capacity to deliver this breaking bulletin to you. With that, there is someone here whom I'd like to introduce. I give you Speaker Henry McDowell, representative of the Autonomous State of Crossbell. Each justice. Good morning, citizens of Crossbell, as well as everyone else who may be watching this broadcast. 
Henry I, McDowell. Henry McDowell, am speaker of the Diet of the Autonomous State of Crossbell. <laughs> One person in the plot. No, three people. As I'm sure you are all aware, former Mayor Cross has recently declared the founding of the independent state of Crossbell. Moreover, he established a military organization known as the Crossbell Defense Force. Already, some Crossbellans have come to welcome both. However, I urge you all to reconsider. Consider whether our present course has truly been the will of the people. Naturally, each and every one of you has the right to decide for yourself the ethicality of our independence. Even so, the fact of the matter is that our current administration was not established via a democratic process. Independence was proclaimed under the pretense of unanimity, unanimity, when in truth, several Diet members, myself included, were falsely imprisoned. To, reiter to reiterate, all that has been declared had been done so arbitrarily, without the consent of the Crossbell Diet. So now I ask you, was the referendum's purpose truly to gauge the stance of the people toward national sovereignty? No. It was but a validation of our former mayor's declaration of intent, a pretext under which to pursue his own whims. The Defense Force, the independent state of Crossbell, and even the president himself, they are all founded on illegitimate grounds. But rather than simply challenging the legality of how this came to be, there is something just as important that I want my fellow Crossbellans to ask themselves. Is this state of affairs, this administration, this life they have created for our state and all the continent truly just? That is the question. Dow dropping all the chaps. And so, I wish to present to you all the opportunity to come to our own conclusions. With that, as a representative of Crossbell State, I hereby emphatically and categorically declare the independent state of Crossbell invalid. <laughs> Not in. Wow, you really said it! This is going to give us a little more leeway for sure. Uh, indeed it will. Sergei, was this their doing? <laughs> you tell me. You know anyone else who could pull this off? Shake a leg, people! Looks like business is about to pick up. Yeah, boy! <laughs> I wonder how they're going to react to all the shads up there in Orcus Tower. Probably not going to be very happy with us, I imagine. Probably going to be pretty pissed. And there you have it. From here, I would like—I would now like to disclose the truth behind the events leading to this day. It began with the raid on Crossbell City two months ago. How much longer do we intend to let them peddle the swill over our airwaves? We've discovered the conduit they used to gain access to the signal, and are in the process of cutting them off. It should only take another few minutes or so. We've begun withdrawing the screens that have been set up in the city as well. The citizen should disperse on their own shortly. Hmm. <laughs> so this was the race in the hole. It's no easy task weaving a thread of fact into a tapestry of fiction. That's the mark of a wily old veteran, if I ever saw one. 
Aren't you forgetting something? This never would have happened had you not allowed the speaker to escape from house arrest. Fair point. We'll shoulder the blame for that. No, you had allowed us to do things our way from the start. This pest would be dead. Then, this never would have happened. We cannot afford to compromise the Divine Child's temperament. There's only so far we can go with the SSS and their allies if we want to keep her cooperation. Vexing as it all is, those are the terms we agreed to. This ploy will likely have a considerable effect on the Defense Force stationed outside of the city, too. I'll do what I can to mitigate it. Please do. I'd say it's about high time we got down and dirty ourselves. Anyway, and the resistance are still out there. Let the hunt begin. In the meantime, I'll get in touch with our associates at Ouroboros. Something needs to be done about the SSS. Not to mention the church's airship. If you would. Disquiet. <laughs> well, that was quite a show. Seems to me that your old man is all velvet glove and no iron fist. That may be how you see it, but I would ask you to consider this as an act of foresight as president. This project's ultimate goal is to shift the balance of power across the entire continent. That's something that my father could never hope to do alone. That's why I surrounded himself with collaborators who can get the job done for him. Such as the Divine Blade of Wind, as well as that other gentleman. That other gentleman. The scientist, maybe? Precisely. Daddy! You done talking yet? Oh, hey, Lady Bell! What's up? Surely. The spirit is ever, I say. Have you finished thinking over what we discussed earlier? You mean about being in charge of your private unit? Yeah. Sounds kind of fun, but I like what I'm doing already. You could at least wait until I leave the room before trying to head on her from right, right from under my nose. Uh, yes, my apologies. In any case, Mr. Orlando, I would like to proceed as per our previous arrangements, if you don't mind. Fun by me. What are you going to do, lad? Not your grandson, Pops. Just keep your nose in your own business. I do whatever I want. <laughs> Suit yourself. You're always welcome to roll with us if you want, Walt. I'll put you through the paces. <laughs> you wanna be a you wanna be a red constellation goon? <laughs> Such a thoughtful pair, aren't they? Think that deadly little daddy's girl is thoughtful? <laughs> Then again, I guess you'd probably relate, wouldn't you? No wonder y'all click so well. <laughs> Having second thoughts about taking me up on my offer? <laughs> As if. I finally got the power I deserve thanks to that drug you gave me. Power no one but me can handle. That's for certain. None could hope to match you in physical strength when you demonize Wald. I couldn't ask for a better test case. What am I? Some kind of lab rat here? Eh, not that there's any skin off my back. As long as I get to brush that smug son of a bitch, I'm gonna put him in his place for good. 
See, man, they really took Wald from like zero, who's like, okay, you know, he's he's kind of thuggy, but he helps. He's like, you know, he's a good, 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 good guy at heart. And really just like, man, you're an asshole, Wald. <laughs> like, character assassination, this is. Shockwave of Speaker McDowell's declaration of invalidity slowly spread throughout the state, as well as the rest of the continent. Whatever impact it had on those in Crossbow City remained shrouded in mystery due to the barrier. Within the Defense Force, however, unrest spread vir uh, virulently as the chain of command at Bell Garden Tangent Gate began to unravel. Amidst the chaos, the SSS received a surprising call aboard the Merkaber. Figured out how to bring down the barrier? Yo, what's up, Yord? Yes, in the internal way to suppress the power of the three ions. The key lies in the Great Bells. Great Bells? Do you refer to the ones at Stargazer's Tower in the Moon Temple? Well... Are you suggesting that they're empowering the barrier and the ions? That was a run of all time. Oh god. <laughs> I got two, three, and four. I mean, hey man, you still you still beat an entire JRPG in two hours. That's pretty impressive. Right, all things considered. And is that with or without load times? No, strictly speaking, their power is derived from the Septarium. However, the Septarium is not yet complete at the moment. We are to perform its so-called miracles over an extended area. Its power seemed to rely on designated spatial fields. Very impressive considering that my PB is 138. Okay, you know what? Fair. Which is also not great. Hey, but man, this was a de-rust, right? Right? You haven't you haven't done a run in a while. I guess including loads. Said fields are specified by the resonance of the bells. I never, I never realized they were capable of that. So if we can just stop them from resonating, then you may be able to release the barrier. Oh, we are going to defeat the barriers. That's what we do with the SSS. Barrier hopping bastards. That's what we are. I wish that it would also suppress the power of the white ion that destroyed Gorelia Fortress. At least in theory. Yeah. Yeah, it's gotta be worth a try. Hmm. The barrier and white ion do remain our largest obstacles. Liberating Crossbell City will be impossible as long as the both of them remain. So in other words, we should prepare to head to Stargazer Tower in the Moon Temple. Please walk in was first try. Uh, there were many deaths and I did abuse S-Craft glitch. Nice. I still never tried the S-Craft glitch. Yes, as for the third bell, it was used at the ancient battlefield and then taken back to Central Square, according to Sao. We can't do anything about that one. But we can still stop the bells at the tower in the temple at least. We're gonna hit them. We're gonna put some. We're gonna put some gum on the inside. It'll stop its resonation. Just plaster it with gum on the inside. That is, if you can get past Ouroboros. Members of their forces are guarding both locations. Oh no. Well, shoot. There's another problem to account for. Campanella is stationed at the Moon Temple. As for Stargazer's Tower, I believe this under the protection of Aryan Road. Fuck. A crazy strong check in the tin can again, huh? There's several problems in one. We managed to pull out a win against the Fool. But even with our numbers, I highly doubt that we'd stand a chance of fighting toe to toe against the Steel Maiden. Which is pretty crazy when you think about the number of people that we have, like, in our party, and, like, their power levels, and, like, then you put that against, like, okay, Aryan Road, and then you go or, like, go and put it to, like, oh, Aurelia fought Aryan Road, and Aryan Road said, yo, you a badass bitch. So it's like, how strong is Aurelia? <laughs> My god. <laughs> We got peaks of feminine goddamn power. We got peaks of step on me mommy energy. Could she really be that powerful? She is. Granted, the society has its fair share of heavy hitters regardless. Are you ready for your favorite part of this game? Maybe. She passes even the mightiest warriors they can muster. So where did Luve fall in against, like, Aryan Road? Because I remember Aryan Road saying, like, I did like sparring with him. 
Doobly is in Crossbell. Yeah, I, right. Had because like right the 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 knights the the three knights the the not the Grawl Shredder the um the the Ritter for the 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 three of them right the three people um Star Ritter that's it thank you the Star Ritter right they they were at the bell. Right when it was resonating in the original cutscene, so yeah, she can surpass even the mightiest warriors they can muster. Her strength is inhuman. There may not be a man alive who could defeat her, but how about a woman? That's absurd. But Wazi, you're one of the Septian Church's dominions. Or like that isn't given without reason. Yet still, you're saying that even you wouldn't be able to oppose her. Ah, that's right. I wouldn't even trust my Stigma's power to put so much as a dent in her armor. Damn. If anyone could challenge her, and that's a big if, it'd be the commander. Yes. However, the entire continent is in a state of emergency. As things stand, as things are, Commander Selnate is in no position to come here. Is Selnate the one that trained Kevin? Like the her is that Selnate or is that a different person that we've never met or heard talk before I'm Selnate yes the number one to me yeah okay yeah and the one that Tolval bummed around with right that was I'm <laughs> uh. yeah I say bummed around with it was kind of like kidnapped by and <laughs> and brought on a Fun adventure. <sighs> Damn. And them even saying she's the only one that could even potentially match her. It's crazy. Why would be like, bitch, holy virus can't do shit against a zombie. Fuck. <laughs> at least have a puncher's chance if Kevin were here. Kevin! It's too bad it's the luxury it's too bad time is a luxury we can't afford. We finally have an opening that could allow us to break this deadlock. There's no other choice. We have to take this opportunity. Hell yeah. Agreed. Doesn't matter how powerful she is. No one is invincible. Mm. Kevin's too busy fighting another Ion soul. <laughs> you know, he's just, he's just doing shit. He's still in the, he's still in a massive dog fight. That's what he's doing right now. All right, if we falter here, we'll never reach Bell and the others. I'm in. Let's head to Stargazer's Tower in the Moon Temple. I wish you the best of luck. I would also advise that you save Ari in the road at Stargazer's Tower for last. Lest you be unprepared to face her knights, let alone the maiden herself. Okay, so we're going to Moon Temple first. You can reach the Moon Temple via the fork in the tunnel along Main's Mountain Path. Okay. Society of Robots. I heard they were the ones behind those bizarre happenings in Liberal last year. They've been making their presence of felt very much in Crossbow, but they do have the two occasions fully guarded. Makes you wonder what their ultimate goal in all this is. I think the Rebel Net went a lot smoother than I thought it would. They totally blocked our access from the signal boosters there, so there's no chance we're going to be able to use it again. Hey, it doesn't matter. I'll scare the crap out of those chumps in our tower is more than worth it. I hurry up to take back the sea already. I've got me a base to reclaim. We have to infiltrate the sea once we do something about the bear and that white ion. I'm sure speaking of McDowell's declaration, Reach Trafe, Sarah Gay, and the others, too. They're probably already on the move. This is the final push, Lloyd. You guys go kick some butt out there. Oh, yeah, baby. Here's your steel maiden. She was the one who shattered Gin's mask. Perhaps it would only be, it would be only fair that I return the favor. See, this is why the finale is so long. The finale just comes and gives you like five mini dungeons in a row. And it's like, comfy, good. Here's three more dungeons to get you ready for the super dungeon. Yeah. <laughs> it is a very long finale. Like, let's be real. This could have been probably cut into like a chapter. But they already did fragments as a thing. So it was like, I guess. I'm not sure I'd fare against such an overwhelming opponent, to be honest. I will not yield. I have my own mission that I will have to accomplish, no matter what. I will not yield! Our boys in the garage have faced off time and again throughout unrecorded history. You could almost say we're bound by fate. People complain about P5 pacing. <laughs> I, mean, I wouldn't complain about P5 pacing. I mean, the pacing is pretty straightforward. <laughs> Get assigned a dungeon, do the dungeon. Go through all the days, 
until the end of the dungeon, finish it. Get like a week or two before your next assignment, then rinse and repeat. There we go. It's a, it, it is a life sim, basically. The Haru section? I mean, I don't think the pacing of the Haru section is all that, like, necessarily bad in terms of, like, story or whatever. I mean, it's like, it's whatever. I never noticed. I'm also terrible at pacing. Like, any time, conver like, conversation about, like, media pacing comes up, I'm like, I don't, I, I don't comprehend, right? Like, people would be like, oh, the pacing of, like, My Hero, or One Piece, or DBZ, or whatever. Like, any show, right? I'm just like, I don't know what you're talking about when you're talking about poor pacing, right? Because, like, in my brain, when I'm reading it, or watching it, I'm like, the, the, the show's take like, the, it's taking as much time as it needs to take to get to the next thing. If there's an order of events, and this is part of the event. Particularly the parts where Morgana disappears, and then you're waiting, and then Morgana is found, and you're waiting. <laughs> um, I mean, I feel like the only like I don't even have an issue with the pacing, and then you get more back, more about Morgana back, and you're waiting. I mean, you wait a lot of the time in the game, but like I feel like my only issue with Morgana is the thing with Morgana leaving, where it felt like very quickly hand-fisted. But like overall, it was fine. Whatever, I didn't really have any main issues with the the Haro part myself and we could I don't care I like b5 this is my friend yeah right and it's like I like I don't get it but other people they're probably more in tune with pacing and stuff and I'm just like I don't know I don't know what you're talking about so long as like so long as I literally can't identify that it is in fact filler right where it's like hey this is something that was in the original thing like if I'm watching an anime and I'm like this isn't from the manga this is an arc that was not present, it is filler, then I don't say anything about pacing, because I'm like, yeah, I, I know the original material, I know the events it takes to get to places, so this is the pace it has to go. <laughs> like, I, I, like, I don't know what you want from me. Like, things require setup. <laughs> Sorry that everything can't happen a mile a minute, all right? Uh, oh, boys and girls, we have faced off time together. I don't care his cheek, don't say we're bound by fate. That said, despite how much our order has looked in the society, we know shockingly little about the fool or the steel maiden. No countermeasures, no glaring weak points. As things stand, we have to fight both of them blind. Nothing ventured, nothing gained, as they say. We might as well jump in ahead first and see who comes out on top. <laughs> you know, just try hard. In terms of overall strength, the right constellation is probably tougher than the society. But the guys at Ouroboros have their arcades, and I'm they're that insane Lancemaster. It's gonna take a lot more than raw power to crack those nut jobs. We'll go solid one for even a second, Lloyd. You got that? But the Moon Temple and Sargus Tower were once in the supervision of Crossbow Guardian Force. If we just learned the truth about the Bios earlier, we could have avoided the current situation altogether. Still, don't want to do us any good. Still have a lot of battles ahead, so I'll keep my head up and, yeah, okay, whatever. It's all, it's all the same. It's all the same stuff. Okay, let's travel in the Merkaba. Travel in the Merkaba. Let's go travel in the Merkaba. Travel in the Merkaba. Um, okay, I do want to check over here, see if I can finally go get that chest I missed. Um, I don't know if I'm now in, yeah, let me, let me just check detective finale. Okay. I'm now in conquering the temple and tower. So that means that I need to go. Hey, no good name. How's it going, my man? Oh, that Randy is basing aura strength off of potentially the weakest division, the tech group. <laughs> yeah. Right. <laughs> um, okay. So I need to go to for conquering. After that, but before completing, so I need to go to St. Ursula Medical College. Hope you're doing well, Neko Dave, on this fine Friday for me, Saturday for you, presumably. My apologies, but I'll stay here while you're inside the hospital. I understand. See you soon. Okay, so I need to go to Farah Medical College, room 302. Not bad, thank you. You, I am doing well. Uh, I worked from home the second half of the day today. Uh, did not do, like, any work once I got home. Did a little bit of work, but not much. Uh, played Tears of the Kingdom, duped a whole bunch of diamonds so I don't have to worry about rupees, which was pretty awesome. Um, yeah, and also did a whole bunch of shrines and got some armor and stuff. Um, yeah. See, it's interesting because I realized that I've gotten to this point with, like, me playing games like Breath of the Wild or other stuff where it's, just, like... Where it's like, there's a certain part of me that's like, oh yeah, I kind of like wandering around and just being like, oh, what's over there? What's over there? But like, I'm at a point where I am also just like, yo, just like, like, I don't, I don't have time for this. Like, just friggin', okay, like, 
I see the shrine. I'm going to that shrine. Like, look over there. Pfft, no. Uh, look at the, look at that shrine. Go over there. Anything else comes up in my way. If it's not important, I'm not like I'm not veering from this path. Like, I go point to point to point to point to my rubies the hard way. Hey, man. <laughs> if if I can if I can just dupe my rupees by doing doing an arrow dupe, then snowball bowling. Yeah, no. I, I'm gonna I'm gonna dupe my arrows. I'm gonna dupe my diamond arrows and and sell each one for 500 rupees. God damn it. Because that, like, friggin' armor? Expensive. I don't feel like dealing with that. Dr. Sinton's doing all they can to come up with alternatives to the medicines we're lacking. Our solution may be less than ideal, but we'd be not going to patients if we didn't try everything at our disposal. Yeah, yeah, shake your head all you want at me, Fontaine. I don't give a shit. <laughs> I don't got time to grind rupees. But yeah, it's like, uh, it's like, like, w one thing I never cared about in Breath of the Wild and still in Tears of the Kingdom are, like, the quests. I never cared about the quests. And, like, doing them myself. It was always just like, oh, god, this fucking quest. I need it for to open up this shop or whatever. How do I do this quest? Like, always. Like, I do not care about the quests in this game. <laughs> in those games. Like, in my mind, the main quests are the ones that I care about, right? Where it's like, go do this dungeon. Go beat this main boss. And then, like, go do the shrines and go to, like, the towers and stuff. Those are, like, the things that I care about doing on my own. But, like, in terms of like, oh, here's this random Joe Schmo that wants, like, this very specific apple. It's like, <laughs> it's like, oh, like, go to find this one apple tree on Mount Fuck You over in East Bumfuck. And I'm just like, where? Just tell me where. And it's like, okay, go there at this time of day, pick the apple. And I'm like, okay, cool. I don't feel like figuring this out myself. <laughs> I got, like, I've gotten to this point in my... I feel like in my gaming journey, in my, like, as my taste in games, as my willingness to engage with certain aspects of game types uh, has progressed, it's like, I realized that after playing so many JRPGs is being ingrained into me that I like having a very heavily curated story, even in open world games. <laughs> like, that was probably one of the main reasons why, like, I really liked Ghost Tsushima, where, like, it has a whole bunch of, like, the, hey, go anywhere and there'll be things to do right aspect of it but on the map it's like hey here's this quest here's this quest here's this quest for this person this person this person and it's like do these to move the story forward and it like the, the your character and main plot are very story heavy and it's like cool great i love it like <laughs> and i i I, like, I do like the freedom aspect of like how you can solve problems and stuff in tears in the kingdom but it's just like man like, I could not give a shit about the side quests. <laughs> for, 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 by and large, unless they're getting me, like, an additional power. Or something. Right? Which, I do need to do one of them to get the auto-build power. Although, I could literally skip the entire quest. But I don't feel like skipping that one, because that feels like a kind of main side quest. So, I'm not going to. But I could skip it. I know how to skip the entire thing. Um, but I'm not going to. Probably. <laughs> um, but, yeah. And also because it's just like, man, on my free time, I got like, <laughs> I got Tears of the Kingdom to play. But then after I beat this game casually, like here, I need to get all the achievements in it and get my new game plus like file ready. And then like, and then Reverie's coming out <laughs> in July. It's like, I don't got, I got, I don't got time to just waste like gathering rupees by the fives or tens it's like no just give me 500 chunks give me 500 500 in chunks please i'll, I'll do but i don't care you got all the time you make yeah you're right except i'm not god i cannot make make time i can just find it freely but even then it's like mm. mm. yeah two. where are you there will be about time to request for our splash on low. Problem is, they haven't been traded with CBF since the declaration of validity. That's not good. How are you supposed to negotiate for goods at this rate? But you can make dupes. <laughs> I mean, yes, you're right. I have all the time I can make, and I can make dupes, yes. I make dupes so I don't have to... So I don't have to deal with going to gather things and selling random stuff. Also, duping diamonds is honestly pretty good because when you fuse them to a regular weapon, like, it makes them a lot stronger. <laughs> like, it makes them quite durable and, like, hit really hard, especially for, like, pretty early in the game. 
So I'm like pretty happy. Snowball farming is actually pretty lucrative, doesn't take much time, and the angle is always the same. I mean, that's also in Breath of the Wild, right? I don't know if Tears of the Kingdom has snowball bowling. Probably well, welcome me to pass the time by my through with it. No sense in reading the same story over and over, right? Why don't you take it as a little press? Thought you said this would No, no, no. Like, no, I'm in Tears of the Kingdom. Because I'm not I'm not replaying Breath of the Wild. Um Back in Breath of the Wild, like, I really enjoy it. I love, like, wandering around and doing all that stuff. But since then, I think I've fallen kind of out of love or don't, I, not in, like, the right mindset. Or at least, like, everyone seems to really love Tears of the Kingdom. And I'm like, it's pretty good. It's more Breath of the Wild. But, like, I, I just think, like, maybe the main aspects of the game of, like, the the crafting and like the assembling and fusing stuff just like and all the tools not necessarily for me because like i'm the kind of guy that's just like yo why are you trying to make me build a freaking hodgepodge of things with all these controls and all this stuff just give me one thing that i need to get through the 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 issue right where it's like why do i need to craft the goddamn airship when I could, when I could just grab the the missile, put it on my shield, and then friggin' fly up like that. It's like I don't like, don't stop it, stop it, please. Um, okay, so I got the book. Let's read the book because this is the one before the finale of the book. The magician, uh, the man enrobed in magical power, grew increasingly maniacal. Things have been so very hard for me since obtaining this power, you know. Holding back the urge to torment, to make the light leave, light leave the eyes of others and enjoy every moment of it. I just can't help myself. It's your power that makes me feel this way. You blasted magicians are to blame. The dark energy rushed from his body and washed over the cemetery with the fury of a hurricane, eradicating the tombstones in its path as it teetered a course toward Anya's. Or is it steer, of course, it Then the shout of a young man cut through the gale. You're wrong! Against all odds, Edwin stood between the attacker and his prey, with his cinched coat around his shoulders and his trusty messenger bag in his outstretched hands. Everyone knows that the one who does the deed is the one at fault. Don't go blaming this on magic when you don't even understand it. Moonlit confetti dotted the scene, floating gently in the air. It was the torn remains of Ed's manuscript. He had somehow blocked the black magic with his bag. Anya's, who had just been resigned to her fate, uh, wore a baffled expression. Edwin, you're safe. How? Edwin pointed his thumb at his chest and grinned. How many times do I have to tell you? Never underestimate a righteous reporter. Anya said so many things she wanted to say, but in that moment she was simply at a loss for words. I'm gonna beat you down, Montaigne, and after that you're gonna give me a post-fight interview. <laughs> D don't screw with me, boy. How did that raggedy bag stop my magic? How are you even alive in the first place? Edwin responded by rushing forward without hesitation. Ah, oh, jeez, Anya's thought. Still, that was Edwin. That was the Edwin she knew. Always true to himself, a crusader to the very end. Even now, Edwin didn't completely believe in magic. He wasn't even able to see any of Montaigne's twisted powers. But he wasn't going to rule it out as impossible or write it off as some kind of curse, but one because orbments existed in this world. Uh, he would piece the truth together himself, bit by bit. And that was just the sort of boy Edwin was. Recklessness and all. Kagamaru, the black cat who was clinging to the backside of Ed's worn-out bag, had been the one who had actually negated the Dark Mage's spell. He fixed his jetpack pupils on Anya's as if to say, Are you sure about this? I am. I don't want to lie to him anymore. I'll show him the truth. The real me, Anya's thought back. She looked into the moon night, uh, in the in night sky. It's a full moon tonight. <laughs> Although there was no wind to move them, Anya's cream, uh, Anya's cream blonde curls danced about as her arms erupted with rays of light, illuminating the darkness. Sailor Moon! <laughs> oh, God. Love it. Uh, okay. So, that's good, and that was that. I don't think there was anything... Uh, wait, no, I did want to... Go check to see whether or not I could go down the East Crossbell Highway uh, at this point. Welcome back, everyone. Have you finished what you came by here for? Yeah, let's go. Okay, board to Merkaber. Just gonna bird that Merkaber. Gonna bird that Merkaber. Burp, burp, bird that Merkaber. Burp, 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 bird that Merkaber. Say what, board the Merkaber, sir. Say what, board the Merkaber. Say what, board the Merkaber. Get up, board that. Board the Merkaber, board that Merkaber, board that Merk, board that Merk, board that Merk, 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 Merkaber. Say what, 
Um, okay. So, issue. Heaven's Eye needs to be on someone. Um... Protection Heaven's Eye. Guarantee Heaven's Eye was on someone. Um... <laughs> Okay, let's the heaven's eye on him. He loses his accuracy bonus, which kind of sucks, but whatever. I escraft with him mostly anyways. Um, and then I need detection on someone else. Um, let's take poison off of him. Uh, because, once again, poison, not exactly, like, the best kind of stat ailment. But it's still alright. It's better than... God damn, I keep hitting. Wrong thing. Still better than nothing. Oh yeah. Got Ellie in her gun. There we go. Let's do it. Let's do it. Oh, no. It's running after me. Whatever shall I do? Okay. Luckily, we got a whole bunch of. Come on. Here we go. We got a whole bunch of Sabbath from just killing these people on the field. So, don't really have to worry about that. Okay, so I need to get to that chest. Hopefully, they don't stop me. There you go. Good. How have I missed this chest the entire time? Ah. Crimson Co. is starting its own line of oil paints. Its flagship pigment is the Scarlet Ochre. Hey. That, that's good. Although I always thought Ochre was spelled R-A, but maybe not. Okay. So, I guess the question is, I don't know as to the point of no return on chests, right? Like, I don't know when I'm not going to be able to pick up or go around and check chests anymore. So I want to be careful about that. Because I would... Like, I don't I don't know if there's an, a New Game Plus dungeon in, uh, in this game. Like there was in Zero. I, I don't remember seeing or hearing anything about it when I looked it up before, but I also don't remember when I looked it up before. Yes! I just know I did. Um, okay. There we go. Um, because if I can get all the chests in one run, that would probably be best. And, but the deal about that is, I would need to know. Uh, what the point of return is, so I know when to go and check. Because, luckily, the uh, the progress bar of these um, all these things, right, is actually a very good way for guides to be able to tell you if you're good, right, before a point of return. Where it's like, hey, before you enter, like, let's say the final dungeon where you can't leave anymore, you need to be at X percentage of of chest collected. Because if you're not at X percentage, then that means you have missed something. Which is not what you want. But the thing is, I don't know whether or not that's even something I can possibly do. Because if, let's say, I already missed a justice and a place that I can't go back to, then I'm effed. I don't... I don't think there are many places in the game necessarily that are one-time visit and locked forever afterwards. I think this game is pretty, like, allowable, or it's pretty, pretty permission. Uh, mm, permission? Mm, that's not the right word. It's pretty lenient. There we go. Pretty lenient with regards to that. It's like, okay, you can usually go back into the... Um, 
go back into like the geofront sectors and stuff. Hopefully. In case I missed any there. Um, okay. See, I, that that is one that I know I need to get. This one. Um, Moon Temple. That's the Nox Forest, so. I can't go there yet because the police academy is blockaded off. So hopefully I can get this one. So. Let's heal up. Make sure we're all good. And travel to Merkaba. And the main's mountain path, because we're going to Moon Temple first. Okay, now the question is, are there still landmines in this temple? Or in this uh in this hallway? I hope not. Well, I mean the lights are back on. Hey. Good. まかせろ。ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、
Concentrate all firepower! Two exclamation points. Let's get the party started, shall we? Okay, some Multiple weapons confirmed. These were built for strong point security. I can only imagine their firepower. Who cares? Either way, we're sending them to the scrap heap. Right. God damn, all these things that are just full of resistant to everything. It kinda sucks. It's like, damn it, Randy's belt for inflicting ailments. RK is amused by the society for base defense suppresses adversaries with heavy firepower. Okay, you both the same kind of unit? Yeah, you are. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over here, put him right in the middle. You, you're weak to weaned. Weaned, you say? Weaned. Uh, Thunder Cyclone. Um, I'm gonna do Spark Down because I don't know if these guys are gonna move or do things. And, uh, these guys got range. Of course, you got range. You bastards. You got rash bastards. There we go. Oh. <laughs> that hit from all the way over there? Excuse me. Art thou fucking with me? Art thou effing with me, Mr. Krabs? Um, okay. Let's do Death Spiral. Yes! Okay, Spark Man. Dude, that is such a wide range of, like, blow up of self destruct. Like, what the heck, man? What the heck, dude? Dude, what the goddamn hell, man? Ah. <laughs> Standing ovation, all of you. Very well. Come right inside. No need to be shy. I'll be waiting for you in front of the bell. Okay. You got it, Camp Bell Nella. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, what do you make of this? I'm not sure, but I have a feeling he has some tricks up his sleeves. Agreed. And they're likely to be exceptionally dangerous. Exceptionally dangerous. Regardless, our only option is to press forward. Yeah, let's prepare for the worst. Yeah, let's do it. Okay. Let me do our sealed shot. That's one down there. Let's do that. Let's rest. Because those explosions were ass. Excuse me? Those were ass explosions? They had Taco Bell. Look at those. Oh my god, look. It's a it's an Ouroboros sigil that's blocking our path. Whatever shall we do? Oh, it's an eyeball. Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. I said look at it. Whatever, Spoh is used to see the entrances being employed here as well. We've seen that they come in different varieties as well. So on either side of Aura versus Mark on them, but the door above seems to bear the crest of the cult. Yeah. What in the world is the fool playing at here? We'll find the answer soon enough. We should start our investigation. Let us be off then. Skullhead. I was kind of expecting you guys to. I was expecting the enemies to be revamped strong enemies here. Okay, so I guess I can only go upstairs. I'll go back in this way. Hey, how's it going, bro? Well, on this fine night. Oh. Oh. A suit of armor that lost its head, its lance can take the life of its prey. Oh, I don't care for that. Okay. Poltergeist, an evil spirit that causes trouble and petrify, can split itself yes. hard to hit. Okay, she leveled up 88. Phantom is 
is pretty close. Bitch, bitch, bitch. There we go. Skeleton. Hello there, Skeleton. Yes. Team attack. Love it. So. Wait a sec. Oh my god, did they- wait. They revamp this dungeon into like a take a wrong turn kind of dungeon. Bitch. I think that's what they did. I think they turned into one of those, hey, you gotta take the right, the correct turns, or else you'll be set back. It's called the war that wanders around the underworld. Yeah. Okay. What the hell? Weird. Maybe, maybe not. We got some of these guys. These reoccurring boss enemies. Or, yeah, the clowns. Good. You just do that. I'm not sure what you guys like or dislike, but I mean, like, general safe bet is like. Um. What do we win? Uh, bad choice. Should have done that. An unusual archaism that can self destruct made by society's 13 factories. EP Charge 3. He opened the chest on her behalf, and as though they had been overstuffed, a thick bundle of letters expanded and burst out until a wealth of them were scattered on the floor between them. Okay, yeah, so I definitely got the chests, like, out of order somehow. Oh, That's not good. You hit... What the hell? You hit twice? It took a... Okay. That is... Le Dangerous. So... Is there... Is that the only chest? Or am I just continuously taking... The wrong turn? Yeah, okay. I think that's like the one right place to go. Yeah. And then... Yeah, I have to go out over here. Okay. All the enemies here are from Sky 3rd, I think. Yeah, probably. I don't remember the poltergeists, but... Yeah, everything else I, I remember fighting in, uh... In Phantasma. Actually. Oh! 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 Masterquartz XP, but whatever. You look inside and find a manuscript of the chest of my autobiography. Wow, you were mentioned in there, but not in a flattering way. <laughs> uh, yeah, they hate you. Bone Archer, the Barcher. Okay. Okay, I see, I see. We all love Barchers. What up? What up? Uh, okay. Skeletal Archer that wanders the underworld in search of a body attacks from afar. Okay. 
go. Cool. Give me them smoke names. Damn. No, no status ailments. Fine. Yes. Oh, oh, uh, oh, How dare you attack me? Oh my god, don't you know who I am? I'm like a cool guy, alright? Okay, so Pixie is almost there. I almost have my first master art. Taking a bit longer than I was expecting it would, but hey. Fifth Blaster. Congrats to Lloyd for changing the L Seeker to one L Finder. <laughs> no L Seeker to one L. <laughs> oh, that's clever. I like that. Fifth Blaster. Okay, so these dungeons are going to have better weapons for my peeps. Power to the peeps. Uh, okay. Excuse me. Yes! Seek the truth. Good. Okay. Ha! Nice little easy one. What did I wish you got? Uh, astral raiment. Zero stood and carefully reached for the chest with both hands, only to make her hug it more tightly. He paused, waited with patience. Moments later, she relented, understanding that he meant no harm. Okay. Astral raiment. Women only. Speed ADF plus five. Okay, so do I want more speed? Yeah, I should probably get her more speed. Yeah. So I want, I want all my casters. Take the orb. Moon orb. Ishin orb. We like orbs. Don't you know? Oh yeah, baby, I love orbs. I like looking at orbs. I like feeling orbs. I like tasting orbs. It's great. Don't you know? Orbs? The most satisfying thing to ingest. Orbs. That's why we make meat bowls. They're meat orbs. If meat orbs weren't the best way to ingest meat, they wouldn't make them, don't you know? <laughs> Place an orb on the pedestal. Cool. Bitch, open up. Bitch. Mom, bitch. Open up, bitch. Okay, so we're gonna have to go this way now. Ah, in through here. See, I do like this way of reusing a dungeon where it's like, hey, you have to go through a backwards now. <laughs> like, we're gonna make you do it again, but it's not gonna be in the same way. That, 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 that is what we will give you. Okay, with evil spear born from the darkness in people's hearts, seals foes movement with breath. Smack it. Kill it. Smack it in the head until it's dead. Nightmare. Oh no, whatever shall I do? I don't play Soul Calibur anymore. How am I ever supposed to do nightmares? A dream devil that looks like a horse destroys the minds and foes of foes and freezes them. Here you go. Yes. Damn it. Yes. Die. Get trip killed. Damn it. Prepare for the chest. I am the chest poucher. He then removed one specific envelope from his breast pocket and placed it above the lid. Whoever left this letter and chest placed it in front of my door instead of yours. You'd best read it. Clock is ticking. Yeah, I'm definitely going to want to go back and read all of Trez and the chest, like, in order. Oh my god, look, it's lions. Adam Lion? My gym partner's a monkey? 
My gym partners a monkey, 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 monkey. My gym partners a monkey, 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 monkey. Okay, you do that. Excuse me, well, that. Yoink. Web barrier. Bodied. Okay, what am I looking at? No idea. They have a lot of damage on them, which is awesome. That's spiral. Okay, Prior 13 Factory's high level tech that can respond to multiple foes. Riot Saber! Yeah, pride of the 13 factories, man. That that was the pride of the 13 factories. It's pretty much true to me. Look at how easy Lloyd and Co. were able to dispatch it. How could that ever be the pride of the 13 factories? Their pride must be pretty garbanzo beans. Hey. 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 Oh. Oh. oh no. Can you stop, bro. Damn it. Go bastards. Um uh. God damn it. No good. AOEs for these guys. Yes. Die. Bastard. You bastard. Uh, Mega Drive. Yeah. Damn it. You bitch. I don't want to fight you. Uh. Oh. Randy was first in line to buy the Epstein Foundation's first ever Orbital Pager. He's calling it the Red Beeper. <laughs> Destroy it to Omega Drive. Uh, accuracy plus 30, that's good. <laughs> so the accuracy that I lost from taking off uh, the hit, uh, hit 2 or hit 3 chords, I gained back just from weapon. Which, frankly, better. It's better that that's how I got it. Oh, successful ambush. Oh, God. oh, I forgot that you guys do that when you die. Okay. Um. You... Okay, come over here. This is a chest that I need to remove. The vicinity contents are. There we go. Just had uh, Just had to suck a few of them in so I could get multiple in uh, in one tag. Yeah. No problem. Sapphire gem. I've always been bothered by my pointed feature. My, I've always been bothered by my pointed features, but people tell me I'd make for a good model. They say I have all the right angles. Because he's a box. Got right angles box. Sapphire gem. ADF plus 15 ATF. See, I don't care for the ADF. Like, when is ADF ever the stat to go for? Like, the only benefit that that thing has is it gives seven water cords. Like, who 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 builds ADF at the cost of ATS? Like, who the, who the hell is expecting to just get r absolutely reamed by arts? Like, no one. No one ever builds ADF. So why, why, why do they have it? They don't need it. It's pointless. You can see. It's a, it's a worthless course. I'm willing to I'm willing to stake my put, put my put my foot in the ground and say that the ADF up courts are garbage. I right, guess like at least with defense, 
and strength down, you can make the argument that it's like, okay, most of the enemies that you're going to be fighting probably going to be physical hitters. So you build defense, you can f feasibly have a, uh, feasibly have like a tank. Or if you're building the defense courts, you don't care about regular strength anyway because you're building a caster. Before opening Tranny Wazzy's first cover job idea was becoming Mordred's apprentice. However, Bennett refused to let him have the title Second Dominion. <laughs> okay. I've, I'm really liking some of these. Door sealed shot. Fick. Uh, okay. Master. Get out of here. Yes. No one cares about you. We're gonna kill you and your friends, and no one's gonna care because you're a little bitch. Gotta go fast. Gotta go fast. Gotta go fast. Gotta go faster, 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 faster. Burn out, burn out, burn out, burn out, burn out, burn out, burn out. This wasn't the way I just came from, right? But this is the way that I came from prior, but if I remember right, these doors weren't open, right? They were all locked before? Yeah. Take the orb. I took the orb, don't you know? I got the orb. It's my orb now. No one can ever take the orb from me. It is mine. It is my special orb. Grey Greaves. These are all the letters Jubilee has written to you since our marriage, Cyril Mead explained. I always kept them with me. I knew you would never come to me willingly, so in a strange way, I was the best hiding place. Grey Greaves? Or wait, right? no, maybe man only. Grey Greaves. Uh, moon 2, speed plus 5. Um, this gives evasion 10, but I'm not too concerned about evasion with Randy, but him going faster? Even better. He does do S crafts, so I'd like his turns to come back quicker afterwards. They're called all tier all. Uh, they're called tier alls because they're made from the tiers of all the chests whose items have been plundered. Damn, that's a lot. That's a that's a lot of chests. No, no wonder they're so efficient or they're yeah. so uh, effective. There's there's a lot of tiers to be had. Yes, yeah. yes. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, that chest is opened. Yes. Okay, that one's broken. Pop open this door. Good, got that. All settled. Yeah, yeet. Over here. Okay. Yeah. Give me your sabbat. Place an orb. Oh yeah, place an orb on the pedestal. Ah, oh, the orbs, they defeated the Sejal, don't you know? I don't, I don't know why I like saying orb yes. with this very particular accent. Orb. It's in orb. Oh yeah, baby. Orb it up. Um, okay, so I'm actually coming down here. Because... Fight that, but I need a war cry. Oh, Okay, just wanted Randy to be at 200 CP before we before we went into a boss fight. Because like for everyone, it's like for for all my all my people, he's the easiest one to get him to max max CP. So I, it's not really a, a time loss, or I say time loss, not a big deal to go out of my way to do it. Really, nothing. Not even a chest in this room. Okay, I see. I see. Between the Forgotten Phantasm. This is zero S2 shot. Hey, Campy. Forces. <laughs> well done, boys and girls. So, how'd you like the dungeon? And what about the treasure hunt? A few cliches here and there are too bad every once in a while, right? I had a feeling that was your handiwork. I think you're slick wasting our time like that, huh? <laughs> Wasting? Perish the thought. Where would the fun be in coming up here without a challenge? And a fool has to bring the fun, you know. It's right there in the job description. Yes, fun. So much fun. That aside, 
Seeing you up close, it's hard to believe someone your age could be long to, Ober to Ouroboros. Does that put you in a similar boat as Ren in that regard? <laughs> Unlike her, my appearance isn't a very good reflection of my age. Anyhow, or anyway, how about that declaration of invalidity, huh? I swear I was on the edge of my seat the entire time. Amusing as it was, though, I can't help but wonder if Prospo's prepared to go down the thorny path you're setting it on. We're well aware of the consequences. Even if the path ahead is treacherous, it's something we must confront at some point. Oh? Is that what you think? Have it your way. What ends up happening across us outside the scope of my mission? In that sense, I could leave right now if I really wanted to. But where's the entertainment in that? It's time to raise the curtain on my grand finale! Oh god, he snapped his fingers, whatever is going to happen. Okay, so distortions in space, it seems. What is that? An illusion? No. A phase space expansion? He's pulling us into a pocket dimension. Since the footing is so poor here, I'll do you a favor and guide us to a more appropriate set for my production. You can just do this? Enter Enforcer number zero, Campanella the Fool. Let's make this a good, clean fight. No promises, though. Oh god, dude. This is like the champion in, like, Pokemon <laughs> fights. Where it's like, oh, they always have the coolest intros. One of the best shows, Bosti. We like a violin. Oh, yes, arts reflect on. Okay, gonna have to get rid of that. Um, oh, shit. I changed her S craft to Dick Vine Crusade. That's a magic attack. Okay, so I need to be careful because I don't have Aura Rain on S Brick. Um,. Okay, well, first of all, let's just rock a quick, easy, um, art. Okay, of course he's resistant to everything. The Jester-like Enforcer number zero conjures strange flame illusions to drive foes to despair. See, the interesting thing about this, like, area where we're fighting this arena, I'm like, this could be a final boss stage. Like, it really could be. Um, um, do I have anything that, like, boosts my, uh, boosts my strength, maybe? Or, well, I have one of most of my things I don't really want to eat with me. Okay. Uh, Let's just come no. Okay. Cool art. I can deal with that. Okay, I'm take it. Oh, wait, he still has it? Oh, I just can't use arts on him. Flare yeah. Butterfly. <laughs> Ironic that this turn of events is occurring <laughs> as soon as I say, oh, hey, who cares about... Uh, <laughs> who, who, who the hell cares about um, ADF? It's like, hey, maybe you should. Dipshit. Okay, let's keep you guys up. Imitation Salt Pail? Oh! 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 Was not expecting that! Okay. That's a... Fuck. God damn it. Okay, so I wonder if that's meant to elude some level of like, like, oh, hey, may, may or may not have caused it some way, somehow, some shape. Hey, huh? 
it's, God damn it. <laughs> what the hell does permutation mean? So the best I could do is What is happening with this? Um, okay. I do not understand what is happening with some of this stuff. Um, I'm gonna put art reflect on. ザイ。ウィルファイ。いや。さあ、トクトご覧。なかなか似合ってるよ。ワイズディスイヴンミン。よし。いや、あいた。オッケー、いや、そう。リテラリーハフトドゥフィジカル。そう、ですかんとサック
Everyone is vegetables. Stop. Uh, yep. <laughs> Okay, I need to make sure that she doesn't go to bed. Like, dude. You got taken out by a goddamn pepper. See, I wasn't attacking with the peppers because I thought that he reflects the pepper attacks. For whatever reason. Loy learn Meteor Breaker. Sure. I have no idea what that what that one is. Hopefully it's a, like a large area one, but I'll have to check. Well, that's smart. That's what I get from moving myself to the front lines for once. And turning people into vegetables. But not in like a like paralyzed way. Just like actual, like you turn me into a, a sapient bipedal pepper. Crazy. Enough yet. We would do well to concede defeat. <laughs> no objections here. So, I wouldn't take this to mean you have any chance against the Steel Maiden. <laughs> Mind your own damn business, pal. Fine, fine. It's about time I bid farewell to Crossbell anyway. How would this artificial Sagittarian turn out, though, I wonder? I'd love to stay and see for myself. But there's work to be done in the Empire. Mm, yeah, you you do go to the Empire. The Phantasmal ba Blaze plan. So we really are planning to wreak havoc in Erebonia next. I mean, they kind of already are. <laughs> Who can say? Everything is according to our illustrious Grandmaster's will. But when caught in the throes of fate, it falls to the children of men to offer up an answer. Like always. All of you are no different. What? Offer an answer? <laughs> Let's meet again someday, if the stars so align. Okay. What sort of answer will you offer in the end? A good one? Bitch. I'd love for you to tell me all about it when the time comes. Oh. Typical. Now the mo riddle me this and riddle me that from start to finish. What could he have meant by offering up an answer? For now, can we stop the bell from resonating? Right. Mind giving me a hand, Randy? I'll help too. Stop! <laughs> Just push on it! <laughs> push! <sighs> that somehow is enough to do it! Just push on it! Stopped. However, I am still detecting the presence of the higher elements. Stopping the spell only ended its resonance with the other two. In other words, we gotta get to taking care of the other one over at the tower now. Yeah, I'll end the resonance between the two remaining bells. What well, your, uh, your said is true. That's our key to lifting the barrier that surrounds the city. Next stop, Stargazer's Tower. Roger that. Hey. Right. So you're attacking the by falling side uh, by falling side by the arrow slow road. Yes, we we are aware. Jeez, bro. That that fight. Like that fight, like it was far different from like other trails fights where it's like, oh hey, here's a unique status ailment, and also like it's it's a troll you fight, right? That's what that's what that that's what the Campanella fight is. It's like, hey, I'm gonna just troll you, right? Like, yeah. other than the salt pail KOing two units, right? He didn't really have much going for him. Right? He used an art once. And that was it for damage. Like everything else was just him kind of memeing around. <laughs> Which like, I mean, I guess I guess 
falls in line with him as a character. But I mean, still, very annoying. Okay. So... Let's go out this way. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to the Merkaba. I'm going to heal. And then I'm going to get to Stargazer's Tower. And then that's where I'm going to call it a night. Because I, oh, I've been going for almost four hours by that point. Uh, and... Uh, and I think that would be a pretty decent place to uh, call it. Because uh, I should be streaming... Or I should stream to uh, on Sunday, because definitely not tomorrow. Um, yeah, and I wait. That's Stargazer Tower. Right? Yeah, Stargazer Tower over here. Here we go. Same bar. Um, and when I stream on uh, Sunday, that should, as far as I can expect, be it, because I'll be pretty darn close to what I imagine will be the. Uh, like the, whatchamacallit, doing the final dungeon, right? Hey. Yes. Bitch. Eh. <laughs> Hopefully, get a whole bunch of cancels from. Um, hey, how's it going? Good. Get a whole bunch of these. Yeah. Okay. I, gave you, I gave you your chance. You could have you could have remained alive a little bit longer if you just behaved, but you only behaved once. So, unfortunately, you got it this one's being nice. There we go. I'll take it. Thank you very, thank you very much, sir. You, you did, you did, you did good man's work. Okay, you're you're afraid of me because you're a coward, little bitch. Right. So good, While I'm here, might as well. What I do for the records. And yeah, it's gone. Yes. Big monkey is dead now. Pineapple is dead. Okay. So let me check my uh, record before. So only a little bit more until 2,000 enemies. 1,000 victories in battle. Not uh, 73%. Shouldn't be too bad to get that. Um, strongest weapon. Will get that once I get all the Agnes stuff. Um, 120, that's going to be a new game plus. 100 enemy arts, got about 65 now. Okay, so that means I have 35 left. That's not too bad. Okay. But regardless, 
I am going to stop here because I think that this is a good stopping point. So next stream, I will do Stargazer's Tower and then take it from there, see where it goes. But yeah, no, this is a damn good stream. Made a lot of progress. Got the entire team back together, the SSS, all wrapped up in a nice little bow. So, uh, yeah, thank you everyone for dropping by tonight. Thank you, Neko Dave, Fontano, everyone else who just uh, came by and lurked. It's much appreciated. I uh, hope you all have a good rest of your night, and I hope you'll join me on Sunday. Bye.